ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the fat and the fit, the stiff and the limp, the wide and the wet, the tall and the lean, the plump and the mean. Welcome, one and all, to Rugby League's origin trek for 1995, the next generation. Back at the Big Bang, when Captain Daly Messenger Kirk began the original league journey 98 orbits of our sun ago, little did he know that a virus on board the League Enterprise was programmed to explode in April 1995. It was a virus so powerful, it could destroy everything in its path. That virus was Rupert Murdoch. But now, on football's night of nights, the Australian Rugby League is firmly aboard Starship Arco, with Captain Quark Quayle at the controls, seeking a new dawn in Biosphere Football 95. Ladies and gentlemen, who would have thought that on this one night in May, that the Team Queensland would appear over the horizon in Starship Maroon with television's funniest man, Commander P. He Vorton at the controls? And who would have imagined that so much dead wood, rotten to the core, could have been hacked from the New South Wales Blues Lunar Landing Module crew by the Hand Me the Big Chainsaw Man, Air Vice Marshal Philip Guthrie Gould. Oh yes, make no mistake, the next generation is raw, rough, rude and rowdy, and to take you there and go boldly where no one has dared tread before, two supernauts who like their league both ways. Those two are Space Commander H.T. Chunksy Nelson and Group Captain First Class Rampaging Roy Bozo Slaven. Are you there on the flight deck, Bozo? Come in, Chunksy! Yes, thanks very much indeed. King Wally on the sound booth. Hello, Asia. Hello, Australia. Hello, Rugby League world, and welcome one, welcome all to State of Origin number one for 1995. And thanks for joining us on a night when too much league will be barely enough. And when I say league, I mean Australian Rugby League. That is ARL-style Rugby League, i.e. traditional old-fashioned family values. Rugby League. Stay with us for all the slog on the dog, Triple J, as we sit tight for another 80 minutes featuring all the stars of the next generation. That is modern rugby league here in the best seats on board Spaceship Arco. No matter where you have downed the tools across this vast nation of ours, we hope you can leave it alone and take in all the action because in the next few minutes' time, the Queensland Maroons, captained by a razor-sharp axe called Trevor and coached by... The funniest man on Australian television in Mr. Paul Fanny Barton will run onto the SFS to take on the New South Wales Blues, captained by about to cut loose Bradley Fittler from a club that doesn't exist anymore and coached as ever. And that is the only certain and still thing in an ever changing universe. And that thing is fabulous, Philly Gould. The message to all viewers at the top of the slog is simply turn the television to the rugby league channel down your end of the swamp, turn down the sound, and turn up the Get the bloody big dog network right up ya, Triple J. Unfortunately for league lovers in some parts of the swamp we call home, you will not be able to combine vision with sound, so sit back and enjoy the call and let your imagination see the future of this great game of league unfolding in your mind. And when the replay comes later this evening, in your part of the swamp, you will be able to tell your mates all about it. Oh, yes, my very good friends. Origin 1 is the next generation with everything on it and nothing in it. Hooly dooly, it's a night of nights. A night of brand new emotions, and it's getting to me already, because tonight, my very good friends, so many of the big questions about the future will be answered. And now, joining me at the Triple J card table here at the silent SFS for this magnificent clash that takes us towards the future, towards Boots Boy, 
side is my colleague in Lee Grand Paging, Roy Slavin. Roy, welcome to the next generation. I know you, to use an old cliche, but an apt cliche, are over the moon, and it's a dream come true for you to be here tonight in the future. What is the mind of Rampaging Roy Bozo Slavin thinking as we head towards kickoff this evening? Yes, thank you very, very much, H.G. Nelson. Well, already I've been very, very impressed with what Channel 9 have been serving up. And it does, uh, I, I think, let us know what State of Origin is all about. It's about emotion. Yes. It's about tapping emotion. And the Gary Larson story that we've just seen vis-a-vis -vis, uh, 35 mil film uh, made by Channel 9, uh, it, it's got me almost in tears. And I, I, I'm reminded of, of Choppy Close already all those years ago, the Choppy Close story when addressing the kiddies uh, that were his teammates 15 years ago, all those years ago. He stood up and he was just in tears. I'm almost in tears here uh, this evening at the SFS uh, with you here, H.G. Nelson, because there is so much emotion here on the line. Here we have a, a group of kiddies, many of whom have never played a rugby league before, quite literally, out here in the cauldron against uh, a lot of hardened professionals uh, in the New South Wales team. And, and I'll be riding on emotion alone. This is a Queensland story we're going to see here this evening. Uh, a lot of Queensland kiddies with very few skills, but hearts as big as far lap. Well, putting on the maroon Guernsey and they're two feet taller. I use the term feet uh, advisedly, two feet taller already. I think it's going to be a terrific family values entertainment night here this evening. Everything going for it. It's just heart and emotion over and courage and determination and grit and will over skill and professionalism. This is what State of Origin has always been about. And, and uh, I think we're going to see the very best tonight. We can see Martin Bella and Harrigan going to thumb out their Bradley Club. Well, forget him, he won't be there. But uh, you're going to see uh, a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of emotion. I think we're going to see a bit of a diffo here tonight as well, because I think the only way, uh, the only way the Queensland can win is by pulling down the trousers uh, of uh, New South Wales. And I think we're going to see a lot of trousers being pulled down in the form of little chip kicks and going the thump, going the biff. Uh, I think that's the only way Queensland can pull this uh, this one out of the fire and make Melbourne something to look forward to in a couple of weeks' time because showbiz is on the line here this evening, H. Eh, Junos, and showbiz and the future of rugby league is on the line because if the, if tonight, if Queensland up within 10 of New South Wales at the end of 80 minutes, then you can forget Melbourne, then you can forget the third game because no one's going to be interested. So there's going to be a lot of pressure on the Blues players not to play very hard, not to play very well, especially in the second half in the last 20 minutes, to let in a number of soft tries. And this is what we'll be looking for, soft tries in the last 15, 20 minutes uh, to ensure that there's a little bit of interest, a flicker of flame, a glimmer of interest coming up in a couple of weeks' time. Roy, uh, firstly, uh, the silence of the crowd here tonight at the Sydney Football Stadium is just amazing. It's right? amazing, me. The people have come here in their droves yes, just I to know. sit on their hands. Mm. Are you reading anything into this, or is this just part of the future that I haven't got on board with yet? Look, there's anticipation. Uh, you can cut the air with a knife, atmosphere-wise, if we just allow people to have a listen to the atmosphere. You can cut the air with a knife. Roy, the other thing I think I should mention is a number of people have bumped into me in my preparations uh, for the big one tonight, a State of Origin number one, we go to the future. Uh, concerning Pick the Stink, mm. uh, a lot of listeners are disappointed that there's been no Pick the Stink competition in rep season 1995. Oh. But when you head to the future, ladies and gentlemen, you yeah. can't take the baggage of the past with you. No, not uh, like Mick Cronin. <laughs> Just speaking, we're going to see tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's the great thing about the future. Look at their shirts, their long sleeves. Oh, it's just diabolical. No wonder we moved on and left all that behind. And who's that, the referee that in the like green? That looks like a turtle. Is it the turtle, Greg Kodeski, there in the middle? Well, it could be. And who's the referee in the green? God, it's Barry Gommelson. It is. It? Tremendous one. Uh, beautiful work there. And remember, nobody's sent off in a state of origin, no. so anything can happen. And is that Tommy Rodonikas directing yeah, that, camera? Yeah, that was, that was Tommy. Yeah, yeah. Good, tomato, somebody, Tom. Somebody's mm. just been told to shut up. Uh, now, uh, <clears throat> Roy, mm. pick the stink. Obviously, those footage, that footage couldn't have come at a better time no. given the subject matter that we were talking about. Yeah. Uh, look, we haven't been able to do it, but will there be a stink tonight? Do you think a stink is on? You mentioned in your call yeah. uh, the idea that uh, Maroons will go out there under instruction from Fatty Vorton mm. and the ARL and the QRL to pants a few players early on. Mm. Well, let's have a look at, at, both, uh, at both sides to see if there are any what I'd describe as stink merchants. Uh, there are stink merchants on the New South Wales team. Tim Brasher, yeah. mad Timmy Brasher. Well, you, Mark you, McGaw. Mark McGaw. Yes. Uh, stink merchant. Stink merchant. Brasher, only the other one. Terry Hill, stink merchant. He's got stink written all over stink him. Stink written all over him. And he plays stink the game merchant on and off the paddock. Yeah, I know. Indeed. Yeah, can't keep his Pure hands stink. out of his stink. No, that's right. Pure it's not stink. It's not white line fever. It's both sides of the white line. I know. Stink, stink, stink. stink. Total stink with Terry Hill. 
And uh, doesn't he play the game in an attractive manner? He certainly does. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Mark Carroll, a bit of a stink merchant. Wow. Paul uh, Harrigan oh, has been known stink. to go the stink. Uh, on the other side, Gavin Allen, stink mer Wayne Bartram, now there's a player. Yeah. I'm looking forward to Wayne Bartram. I, I like the look of Wayne. I, I'm predicting a bloody big night for Wayne Bartram and Abe Lamb. Uh, <laughs> I don't know whether they're stink merchants or not, but I'd like to think Wayne Bartram's a mad stink merchant. I'd like to think he's got something going for him. And I certainly look forward to what he can. Tony Hearn, stink merchant. Uh, the Axe, stink merchant. Gary Larson, stink merchant. Billy Moore, stink merchant. Uh, Dale Shearer, obviously stink merchant. Stink Matty Singh, stink merchant. Uh, I think Danny Moore from memories in the centres, isn't he? I think he's a stink merchant. Uh, Mark uh, Coyne, the two coit coin, uh, or three coit coin these days from the number of stinks he's been in. Uh, he's, he's, he's back to us just like a sieve these days from the number of stinks he's been in. Uh, Brett Dallas, man, stink man. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. And I can course. smell him from here. He's stinking already. That's right, Robbie O'Davis. Oh, of going off. And you know, there's one name, too, I'd like to mention tonight here. I just sent out a cheer cheerio call because he was almost in the team because Stink Merchant Hill from New South Wales with a ghoul and uh, created by Stink earlier on this week uh, was looking suspect. Jamie Ainscoe. Jamie Ainscoe. Was nearly called man. into the team. Mm -hmm. uh, and Jamie, uh, I, I know you would have been, you would have done us proud, New South Wales proud, uh, out here tonight at the SFS. You couldn't be here because uh, Terry got better. But uh, all our hearts are with you, son. And I certainly hope that in the second team in Melbourne there's room for someone of the calibre of yourself, uh, that is Ainscoe, uh, in State of Origin. Because that kid has been born with State of Origin about to happen, hasn't he? He has indeed, because we can smell him when he's coming. Even if he's 100 kilometres away, we'll take a short break and come back with Origin 1 for 95 in a moment. This Sporting Life is the only program game enough to call Rugby League's Ken Arthurson mad. We repeat, mad. Uh, I think it might be from 1984. Yeah. A few jumpers came off, the pants came down, a lot of players. Oh, uh, I hope we nine are uh, prosecuting the family values side. Oh, of indeed. That, this is very, very fine. You know, yes. this is exactly what Kerry Packer's on about. This, this is, is what the, the IRL's all about, That's, isn't it? <laughs> there's marking out. There's Tunksy. Uh, there's uh, marking out exactly how rugby league's developed yeah. and why we have to go to the future now. Yeah. And it's obviously what the SRL won't be offering. Sorry, the SRL. The <laughs> SL won't the SL. be offering. No. Uh, Roy, uh, coming to your thoughts, you're on choppy close. Look, I, mm. I, I feel as I have to share this. Yeah, no, 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 I do. Uh, uh, just between now and the time we get the next stink. <laughs> Uh, 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 Here's a stink oh, oh, stink mansion. Look, look at this boy. He's stinking. He's stinking. Oh, they're going through the team. Okay. Well, perhaps the most significant moment, according to John De Gitt, is uh, in the uh, Kelly Mirror this week. Hope it was syndicated all around the place. Perhaps the most significant moment in the Queensland preparation for tonight's first State of Origin match occurred at the, Maroon first, uh, the Maroons' first team meeting. State of Origin legend Chris Close, who is now a Queensland assistant manager, got up to speak uh, to the players at the first meeting. But Choppy struggled to get the words out. He said to us exclusively for the Triple J call. I got that emotional about it. I couldn't, uh, uh, couldn't, I could feel the emotion coming from the blokes. Mm. I was standing there blubbering like a big kid and I had to sit down saying bugger all. You could have heard a pin drop. I could see that the blokes were thinking, God almighty, this is serious stuff. Mm. Nothing could have been more clearly demonstrated the new, to the new players in the team. A passion mm. that surrounds the state of origin football. And nobody could have done it better than Choppy Close, an integral part of the first thinking Queensland side. And I use that in the most, uh, you know, mm. appropriate manner. Mm. I use that term advisedly. Mm. Oh, there's a couple of stinkers on screen now. <laughs> 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 the one on the left. left. <laughs> <laughs> Hope they're grown last for this is fail. And uh, a man, uh, da, da, da. Close is delighted with the uh, spirit that surrounds the new Queensland side. He rang his wife, Diane, after the team came together and said the feeling in the side was, was uh, one of the, was in the old days when the stinking was uh, just mm. more than you could imagine. They're serious about this. Uh, they're very proud to be here. 
And for those two reasons alone, it's going to be one hell of a game because I know the New South Welshmen feel exactly the same. We've had a really, really solid preparation. I don't think Fatty's left any loopholes. <laughs> now, uh, Roy, obviously, he's a man who thrives on emotion. Mm. You were there at that meeting. I was there at that meeting. The choppy close to the original meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was staggered when the yeah. bloke was stuck for words. Yeah. He just got up and sort of more or less... Well, he got up, and I got up a little bit later on because I tried to say something, and I, I, it was just the emotion. I, I, I Could you feel it off the bike? Yeah, I, I got up to say, you know, good luck, everybody, to the to the Maroons, and uh, I stood up, and all I could go was... <laughs> <laughs> and sit down. That, such was the emotion. And I know you felt the same. Well, I did, I did. I, look, I didn't even try and get up. And speak, I was just bluffing in my chair. Yeah, I know you were. I mean, I knew if I sat up, I'd just fall over. Yeah. I'd be history. Yeah. Uh, I'd be cactus, I'd be rubble. Mm. And so I sat in the chair and went something like this when it was my turn yeah. to speak. Mm. <laughs> I can't duplicate it now, the emotions can't. But I can feel it yeah. coming up a bloke, yeah. you know, like. Well, that's how it was. Know, uh, you know, and Billy Moore. Yeah, when we visited the, uh, the Queensland boys this afternoon, uh, I, I went and just had to do work. And, uh, you know, I, I said, uh, uh, Dale, talking to Dale Shearer, how are you, Dale? He went... <laughs> <laughs> and the, obviously that same sensation that was in the dressing room in 84 is there in 95. And that's got to be great for the new start. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Roy, uh, the loopholes. Has Fatty... Oh, look at that fat bloke. <laughs> 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 Where's your that... chin gone, Molly? <laughs> Where's the hair paint, Mol? Uh, now, loopholes. Uh, as we see the king just about to stack on a bit of a stink. I think he might get a try here. Oh, I think he does. He's oh, got he's, speed. He's got oh, all the speed. Oh, look how was. terrible Gary Jack is in that instant. Uh, now, uh, <clears throat> loopholes. That is loopholes. Roy, <laughs> uh, are there any? When you look through that side, you know, yeah. you've got O'Davis, Dallas, Coin, Moore, Singh. Mm. Shearer, Lamb, Moore. Mm. Another Moore. Moore, Larson, Moore, Gilmeister, Moore, Hearn, Moore, yeah. Bartram, Moore, Allen. On the bench, you've got Moore, Eichen, you've got Moore, Cook, you've got Moore, yeah. Cracker, Home, and you know what to do with him, Craig Teven. Yes. Where are the... Where, where is I can't the, see a loophole no. there at all. Okay. I, I, I if think, I uh, mention a couple of names... I think Vorton's got them all covered. He's got every loophole covered. You know, I, I, the first thing I looked for when I looked at the Queensland lineup, I thought, loophole. Where's the loophole? <laughs> I can see a lot of holes. I can see a lot of loops. I can't see any loopholes. You know what I mean? <laughs> of course I do, Roy. Of course I do. I mean, I've looked at this. I've looked at this Queensland lineup every which way. You know, backwards <laughs> and forwards. I start at the back. You've looked under them. the short. Yeah, you've the looked side. down the top of the Guernsey. <laughs> you've looked from the iron. You've parted the part you in know, the I've air. I've looked at luring bit of crack, and there is not a loophole in this whole bloody lot. Look, I've started at the backs. I've worked my way to the forwards. I've started yeah. the forwards and worked my way to the backs. Yeah. I can't see Look, it. Even you know Benny Eichen and Mark Hone, Cook and Teven. No loopholes in that reserve bench. Not a loophole. No, there's not one there, no. Listen, can I just uh, uh, ask people, you know, to really get their mind around the enormous job that Fatty has done? But this is another film yeah. we're seeing. Oh, this, this is, is another, another film. film. Another rugby league film. Mm. Uh, this may be localised, though. Yeah. Uh, now, when uh, when he met some of these players, he didn't realise they were rugby league players. Oh, uh, oh no. He thought they'd come in for other things. And, and I, you know, I want to preface my uh, question, really, which is how's Fatty gone about his coaching chores? By the involvement of people like uh, Dud Beatty, Dud by name, Dud by nature, Tosser Turner, Tosser Turner the yeah. great Jim Bannigan, who's after all, he's, he's, he's the most Integral. Yeah. Integral and, yeah. and, and responsible for most of the big Queensland yeah. wins. Yeah. Most of the big maroon wins are down to Jim. Yeah. What, what's Fatty done? Well, I think it was business as usual, Fatty. He got up there, went, they went to Rosie's, they hid behind the pop plants, they left out, you know, <laughs> people coming out of the toilets. This is all Fatty Nash. That is all Fatty Nash. About the league? Yeah, in the bus, yeah, he did the driving and put the brakes on, Jim Bannigan. Yeah, all that sort of stuff. Uh, went into camp, uh, told a lot of stories around the campfire, uh, had a bit of hooch, yes. uh, went a little bit silly, uh, and then it got was a slap. Like, got a slap, and then it was all right, like, seriously, we, you know, we're standing in rugby league now, we're going to play rugby league. So, you know, I, uh, you know, imagine there might have been a, a coaching loophole there, but I can't see a coaching loophole either with the Maroon team. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's better to that it is Laurie Nichols. Yeah, Laurie Nichols is good. good. He's looking for this blackberry, Laurie. Uh, now, Roy, I think it's fair to say that we focused on the Queensland side, mm. believing that they're going to run out winners tonight. Yes. Where, where is there a chance that New South Wales could come on board? I mean, how do you combat a rainbow connection with Matthew and Andrew Johns there in your heart, yeah. in your yeah. six and seven? How can you stop that? How can you shut that down? And surely this would be... With solid defence. Solid defence. Uh, uh, solid defence. And a little bit of cheating. I, I think they've got to, uh, they've got to be offside most of the night. Uh, and hold the players down so that the quick play of the ball uh, is negated. 
because uh, what uh, New South Wales will have is is bigger size, uh, more skills, and faster. Now, when you're up against a team like that, all you, the only thing you can do is slow them down, bring them back to your level, and I think that would be uh, Coach Wharton, Super Coach Wharton's uh, uh, intentions out here tonight. So you think they can negate the rainbow connection by yeah. basically just punching them? By punching them. Yeah. Hitting them hard, hitting them low, hitting them high, hitting them in the middle, holding them down, doing a, little, doing a bit of, uh, you know, bellman folk dancing on them while you got them down there and hoping the whistle goes your way. Now, uh, Roy, uh, obviously we should take a short break as we see Crusher Cleel. Roy Crusher Cleel, you know, with a day. Wasn't he quick? <laughs> Super quick, that boy. Uh, we'll take a short break and come back to the silent SFS in a moment. You're on the flight deck of the next generation on Triple J. Just coming through from the rooms. There's Dale Shira, a man who's only played one game of football in the past 14 years. Yeah. Uh, but as against Parramatta and aren't Parramatta strong. He yes. might have got a couple of tries against Parramatta for the I South Queensland Crushers. Yeah. Uh, Dale, and uh, there's the coach, the, the funniest Elvis. man on yeah. TV. He's a very, very funny man. He's had him laughing yeah. on the way to the ground. This I'm surprised they had the cameras in there. Uh, well, really? remember, remember this all this dispute. They're only allowed to show 30 seconds in the rooms. That's right. Like that. Yeah, quite right. Yeah, quite right. I've probably done it a few weeks ago. Yeah. Now, uh, Roy, what a masterstroke from the part of the organisers of league in Australia to reinvent the game so totally with these sides. I was just thinking only earlier, you know, there's no more backdoor Bellice, there's no more uh, Martin Bella, there's no more Ciro, there's no more of those great names we've become used to who still yeah. play for the SL. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you've got, you've got now yeah. this totally new look, mm. this totally new look game. Yeah. And when you think about it, we've got totally new look referees. Yes. I think we've got Eddie Ward tonight. Now, the next we, uh, is that confirmed? Eddie it's going to be Eddie Ward, or are we going to be surprised when someone runs out, you know, with shorts and whistle who we've never seen before? Well, I'd be surprised. No, I didn't think Eddie was going to do it. I thought Eddie had gone to uh, Super League. Well, we'll have to get, uh, you know, uh, ready down. They're not bringing Cole Pierce back, are they? I'd love to see Hollywood Hartley come out. Yeah. Well, no, no, let's call whoever referees Hollywood tonight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just for the sake of it. Yeah, all right. Uh, up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we should, uh, you know, obviously invent the future by referring to the past. To the past, yeah. You look back yeah. to find the coordinates yeah. further in front. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Roy, do you think that there'll be some novel rule interpretations this evening? Uh, you know, obviously... Uh, I think so. If the, if the score, if there's a, a huge discrepancy in the score, I think we'll see some very odd rulings. If, uh, for example, one team was to be 30 or 40 points in advance at the end of the first half, I think we'd see some very, very odd calls uh, from the referee in the second half because someone surely is going to be paid to even up this competition tonight. Now, whether New South Wales is going to be paid more to lose uh, or Queensland, you know, paid a hell of a lot to win or a bit of both or yeah. referee Hollywood... Uh, paid a hell of a lot to make sure that you, 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 you can see the permutation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, wouldn't, it, it wouldn't surprise me if that was to be the case. Uh, uh, because, as I say, there's a lot, a lot riding on tonight, and there's a lot riding in a couple of weeks' time in Melbourne, and that's the crunch one. My, uh, just to let people, or alert people who aren't the SFS here with us tonight, that there are still plenty of seats here available. Yes. Uh, the tiers up the top, the top-level tiers, aren't full at all. Uh, we're getting a bit of, you can probably hear a bit of atmosphere from the crowd now, but there is absolutely no, uh, no one sitting up in the top tier. So if you want to come along and see a game of, uh, pretty ordinary game of football, yeah, there's plenty of time. Get and down here and there's no parking problems. Well, either. there's absolutely no parking problems. In fact, I parked right out the front and I got here about 15 minutes ago. I just <laughs> left it there because you could get right in. And when you look behind us, Roy, here at the card table, yeah. I mean, there's just row after row after row of empty yeah. seats. Yeah. And even though we're down at playing level where mm. we like to be, unlike those other clouds yeah. who want to go way up the back there from the media box, oh, yeah. we love to be here where you can feel the big hits mm. and be involved in the fights. And occasionally <laughs> land one on as the players.
player goes by. There's just row after row, row of seats behind him. Yeah. In fact, there's um, Johnny Hewson up there, uh, yeah. you know, sitting by himself. Mm. No strange. I think it's very cunning of the ARL to replay the crowd effects from a State of Origin game of a number of years ago that we're hearing in the background now. <laughs> Because you know, people might get the impression at home that there are actually people here with us. Well, that's what I mean when, when, when Fatty uh, hasn't got any loopholes. Mm. He's thought of it He's all. He's thought of it all. He's got that going through the PA and <laughs> oh, it sounds as though it's full. Yeah, I know. And uh, here we are live oh, here we at the are. Sydney Football Stadium. And you can you see, see what I mean? mean? You can see there's hardly anyone here. There's vacancies yeah, everywhere. Yeah, wherever there's there. And people have to forget that we're only about five minutes away from yeah. kickoff. And the teams will be coming out in a moment too. God yeah. almighty. I mean, I'm, I'm shocked and... Uh, uh, here's a few late stragglers coming into their yeah. seats. And that's uh, what happened was, earlier was that shot was created by getting the uh, stewards and ushers to push the yeah. crowd yeah. into the uh, into the central part well, of the stand. Can I, I just say, so spread out. can I just say, HG, that I hope that there are no fights in the crowd well, between Super League, League and ARL. Well, well, that was one thing I was going to ask. Yeah, look at this, look at this. A little bonding happening. All oh, right, yeah, put the shoot back on there, yeah. uh, uh, Why would uh, we getting to do that, cuddle each other? What's going well, on? Uh, well, what's that telling it's us? It's the future. It's the future. That's the well, funny thing. Why are going to cuddle each other? That's more like it. Yes, Why is it coming up and down? You don't play a touching each other. <laughs> he, yeah, but he has What's cool he got in mind? Is he mad? <laughs> But he's got the loopholes covered on the gear. Uh, certainly, Roy. What I was going to say also, Roy, was uh, I do hope there's no fights between ARL supporters and SL supporters here tonight. Yeah. I mean, I think we've seen enough fighting at recent matches yes. where the uh, crowd has been so small here uh, uh, that it's been hard to get a fight happening. Fiddle leading them out. Yes, uh, uh, there's Terry Hill, Harrigan, Mackay, Spidey Carroll. Uh, here comes the Johns boys looking very, very nervous. And uh, there's Roddy Wishart and there's uh, Mary McKill up there. Yeah. And here comes the uh, best place. Gee, Mary looks very, very, very religious. Mary looks puffed out already. Well, he looks exhausted, that cuddle. Mm. He doesn't like cuddling. No, he doesn't. Though. He's got a big thing anyway. Here they come. Listen to the crowd roar. Let, let's have the crowd take on. Let's have the crowd take on the banner of getting these boys out there. He's pretty bloody quiet. Yeah, right? Here he is. Oh, no, and a bit of, bit of action now. Bit. And uh, as we see there, everything uh, now in New South Wales-wise in Remus for the uh, State of Origin number one. Now remember, all these people played paid premium price thinking they're getting the best here. oh here's the axe mm. oh the axe looks as though he means business and that jim bannigan's Jim shoulder Bannigan, Jim's and still and there. The, the, let's hope we see a shot of jim oh the axe is very very determined there's the coit uh now here we have trouble this is gummo yeah harpo chico <laughs> dale zeppo as nearly as i can tell moving across there there's dale oh, oh, thank you, dale. oh very good oh, there's uh, Gary Larson, uh, there's Billy, Billy Moore, Parker. Billy Moore, and here we have uh, W.C. Fields and Benny Hill bringing up the rear of the Maroon side. Oh, you, he's I got his own video camera. Oh, he's Jim, yeah, he's got, he's got his own Jim, video camera. Oh, no, it's the headgear. Oh, That's the right. headset, yeah. He'll be down there trying to cause the stink. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I can't get over these empty seats though here. Oh. Rows and rows and rows behind. And so everything is ready for the four start of our State of Origin 1995. Yeah. The players gather, and it won't be long before the national anthem is... Uh, well, will you get Advanced Australia fair, do you think? I hope so. And I think Christine Anu is singing tonight. Oh, tremendous good. voice. Yeah. And uh, we'll uh, be crossing over that. There's Greg Florimo. Yeah. Here's a Queensland supporter down here, obviously over the moon with the way the team's uh, plugged the loopholes. Yep. And don't they look young? Yes, I wonder if Greg Florimo's... Uh, gee, this is interesting. If Florimo's part of the first 13, I, I thought uh, he was uh, going on as a replacement. Uh, so maybe Gould's uh, sprung something already and split the Johns boys up. Well, and, and look at the axe. The axe looks look good. He looks razor sharp, doesn't mm. he, for a Trevor. Mm. And uh, there's Dale in the back. Dale keep, gets in every shot, doesn't yeah. he? Have a bit of a sp spit axe. I'd like to see that. Mm. And uh, I think they're lining up now. And uh, as we see Arthurson come out to play the organ for the uh, <laughs> National Anthem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, he's clad up. He's got some beautiful, well, there's sort of slightly pink harem pants on tonight, and uh, I think it's just a dream come true. And it oh. might be time to, uh, for the National Anthem. We're getting to the National Anthem. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Uh, Ma Maroon. Maroon. Oh, here we go. Here we go.
Sydney Football Stadium and a beautiful reading of the national anthem uh, this evening. I think, I think, Christian, I know. yeah, I think it's the finest interpretation I've seen of, uh, uh, heard of that uh, song for many, yeah. many years. It's good to see it going so well yeah. in the future, though. I don't and know. I've seen the fireworks, fireworks before the game. I like to see fireworks as part of the game. Yes. Uh, now, he's a stink merchant, uh, you know, obviously smelling already. And I think the one thing I'd like to say is how young the New South Wales side look and how experienced the Queensland side look. Yeah. Uh, and it looks as though, as though uh, Eddie Ward is out yes. there. Yes, uh, Eddie Ward. Eddie's bulking up a little bit. Well, I think he's slowing down to keep up with the future. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, I think they're going to have a kick off here, Freddie McKay. Getting us underway at Origin 1995. Oh, the excitement the emotion what fantastic fun we're having and away it comes down with last and bringing the ball back about 25 meters out from the maroon line he gets up and plays the ball and away it goes to a man wearing glasses oh, oh, Alan. surging up there from alan oh he's up waiting back from his knocked over with the ball as brady mckay gets up and uh, uh they're on the 20 meter line as it comes over into the toilet paper just in front of the triple jake broadcasting position it's a lively opening with nothing much going on except the old-fashioned work and the ball up the middle here's the axe he puts oh, his head down the axe cheap yards for the axe and it comes down and they decide to kick. Might have been Lamb with the toe to the ball there. It's rounded up by uh, Brasher. Brasher gets on the bike. And away he goes. He knocks over Dale Shearer here. Oh, they take 40 Maroons to knock him over. Oh, there might be a bit of a stink on early. And I think there might be a penalty given here if they don't watch out. But they're holding him down early in the tackles, as Roy suggested. Way it goes. Now across. Looks like uh, Craig Hancock with the ball now. He's knocked over about uh, 15 metres shy of the halfway. And away it comes now out to Harrigan. Harrigan doesn't go anywhere. He's knocked back by that big, big, burly number. Number eight, Gavin Allen. And the way it goes now, they're over the 50 metre line and they're surging, they're looking forward, they're looking for a way oh, there. He dated him. I, I think uh -huh. it might be Mark uh -huh. Taylor. Going for him. Penalise for going the date. So well, he should be. Well, that was an in interesting interpretation of the rule because normally in rugby league that's approved of. Let's have a look yeah, at the general slow motion. Watch it comes he in goes, number eight. Here he goes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh very, very it's lively. Though, doesn't it? oh, I, I think that's why a lot of people tune in. Yeah. They like to see a little bit of date work. A little bit of as Johns comes with the ball and he gets it uh, in the appropriate position about for making a few yards. Beautiful uh, 30s on the 30 line as they yeah. take the tap and they run around. I think might be Wish out with the ball now. He's knocked over by Larson up there. Uh, just not shy of the 20. Here it comes to Jimmy Sadara. Sadara away. He comes now looking for a runner and he finds him Harrigan. in Paul Harrigan. The Chiefs got good field position here on about the second tackle. Way it goes out wide onto uh, the Fitter on about to cut loose onto Menzies. Here comes Sadara into the dummy half. They have to hold them down. Otherwise there's a blue try threatening on. Back it comes to Fitler about to cut loose. He's got through. He gets the ball away oh, under John. Here it comes back. Now they're playing on Jimmy Sonaris. They've got room to burn out. Why they go back in the middle? He's almost there. He's knocked oh, over the referee. Oh, the referee got in the way. Here's the six tackle. Gee, this is a lively opening for the Blues. I can't remember a better opening. He goes across the field. He's got the runners out there. Oh, no. Oh, Who is that? Don't the flags up. Don't oh, the flags what? Up. Don't try it. He was knocked over. Gee, what a creative start there. That was magic. No wonder we've all been waiting for the future, Roy. Yes, yeah, so we're here. This is the best we're really loving. I've ever seen. And he just put that uh, foot into touch, yes. Uh, oh, and he might have been offside as well. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And who's that big bloke in the mask there jumping up and down at the spot? Yeah, I don't creative. think he was offside. No, he just put his, his foot into touch. Yeah. Oh, yes. No offside. Oh, well, we're we'll all caught. No away. offside. As we see the replay, and Al Alan looks tired already. Get him off. Get Cracker Hone on there. We want Hone. We, if there's one thing this sporting life wants to see, it wants to see Cracker Hone out there. I want to see Bartram. Bartram. And away it goes now. The axe gets an oh, early touch. The oh, the axe got a one-two. Quick hands on the axe. Oh, the soft hands, but so quick. Silken. So <laughs> like the lightning. Lamb gets the boot out of the toe and he kicks it up. with Not a particularly interesting kick, but oh, I might just do enough. Uh, Isn't Brasher Brasher slow the, these days? Oh, Brasher. Ever since Sparkles, ever since Hammer hammered him. <laughs> Yes, indeed. <laughs> or he went up against fry pan. Yes, yeah, that's right. Here's the kummel, yeah. Adrian Lamb. It's good to see a kummel wearing the maroon, isn't it? It is. It's a tricky thing to explain this, but the kummels are able to wear maroon. That's right. Uh, yeah. Uh, north of the Tweed. North of the Tweed, yeah. That's the future. Yeah, doesn't Gilly look natural in a scrum? I... He's lived most of his life in a scrum, scrum, and he just loves it when the whistle, when the ball goes out. This is the atmosphere, though. Oh, the atmosphere is electric, and the future is wonderful. Uh, Dale Shearer does a bit of tackling. The first time he's tackled a player in Billy 22 Moore went years. Billy Moore went the date again. Billy Moore went the date. Why is he date hunting? Well, well, look, that's what that's what we mean. Oh, oh Alan. Oh, play on. Yes, that's right. Give me some Aaron. Go, go. I was going to say that's what they mean when uh, Fatty's covered all loopholes. Oh, I guess they. Oh, the, the da back door. Back door. Well, Benny's because it was the loophole we didn't spot. No, it's the back door of the blues. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Terry Hill with the ball. He plays it away to Fittler. Fittler works on to Spuddy, I think, knocked over. Fell over Spuddy. Why doesn't he wear his glasses? I mean, he can't even see where the bloody ground is anymore. <laughs> he can't even feel where the ground is. Harrigan with the ball now. 
I must say, it was good to see Spuddy talking to Samit Gillespie about how to do it. Oh, yes. Oh, so much knowledge to share. As Fittler gets the ball onto the toe, it's coming down. It's kicked away from all. He's found a bit of space here with the ball as it runs on. And here they come now. Aren't the Queensland jumpers a bit disappointing this year? They seem to change them every year. Yes, it's a poor design, isn't it? And Robbie O'Davis with the ball there. He's got it away now. It looks to me as though Wayne Bart from there. He gets back to Robbie O'Davis. And it comes to Bloodnut. Bloodnut knocked over. That's Bloodnut gummo. And a couple of players come in. Oh, Dallas. He's yeah. a bit of a strike. Well, I hope so. That wasn't much of a stink, though. I well, hope we see better than that. that. If that's the sort of stink we're going to get in the future, let's go back to the past yeah. when stinks were stinks. Yes, that's a very ordinary stink, isn't oh, it? Oh, uh, settle down. Who yeah. was involved? Harrigan and Allen. Yes. Isn't Allen and Allen? Let's have a look here. Isn't he a big goose? This is, this more, is Brett I think. Dallas, I think. Oh, I see. He goes oh, someone went high. It was Harrigan. But he missed. missed. And, and then so all of a sudden, yeah. Oh, this is very disappointing. The referee talking to them. Very, to settle very down. Yes, he's going to threaten to send him off. Well, no one's been sent off yet, so I, don't, I wouldn't believe that from Eddie Ward. <laughs> uh, well, it's puff. the future. That's just a puff from Ward. Well, oh, no, he's not going to give him a room penalty for that. Listen to the crowd. They liked it. They loved it. They loved it. <laughs> and uh, Harrigan looking as though... Or, he's pumped up, isn't he? Oh, he's very pumped he's up. He's pumped up for a bloke. He, he realises that the Maroons haven't forgotten any loopholes. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. They've got all loopholes covered. As we see Gummo kicking out now. And uh, that's a good kick. That's a very nice kick. That's a very good kick. Who made a bit more distance with it, but here mm. they go, the Maroons on the half line. Conservative. The Maroons, kick. away they go, and he's this, this beautiful free-running Gavin Allen is taken by a bit of blue word there. <laughs> he's got a blue underpants on. I don't know what that means. If it's close to the date, I wear blue. Forward, forward pass. pass. Forward, forward pass. Forward pass. And he's lost the ball oh, in the tackle. Oh, going to allow, what, what a vege rule. Uh, he's going to let the play flow tonight. Oh, I hope so. On to Lamb. Lamb out wide, looking for some runners there. Found Billy Moore. Billy Moore makes a yard or two, and he's knocked over by a lot of blues. Billy Moore gets up and plays the ball back towards the card table side of the patch and away comes to Dale Shearer. Oh, showed the ball. ball. Showed the showed ball. ball and sold his boat to the dump with a hospital pass. Look at that. Oh, that's Look a beautiful that, Robbie O'Davis. <coughs> Smashed. Well, that's Dale Shearer for you. He's got every loop hole covered. Uh, on it goes oh, for the tackle. axe. Bring oh, back, no. Back, I don't know what's going to happen here. I think it's just as is. And the fifth tackle now. About uh, They haven't made much inroads into blue territory yet. He goes lamb. Lamb. The Kummel. Oh, the Kummel kid. He got it high. And here we go. We're offside, waiting. I think. Offside, oh, yes, well taken by Brasher. He juggled it two or three times and then was brought down by Billy Moore. What's he right? He's, wish I could eat. Will he run here? I think he'll run. Oh, yeah, wish I think he'll run. Look at that. Oh, that's Surprise tremendous. Surprise me, Wishart. <laughs> God almighty, everybody knows what Wishart's going to do. Anyway, he comes now and uh, back to Mary McKillop. McKillop gets it further afield now towards the centre and he's knocked over by Maroon. A work there. Is it match less a certain intensity, Roy? No, I think it, <laughs> it's like... It's, we're watching an amateur code yeah. tonight. Right. That's refreshing, isn't it's, it? It's oh, I love it. I love it. I, I'm enjoying it. I mean, uh, no real big hit. No, it's, it's just a lot of growing to grope. Yeah. I thought the date work was good early. Yeah, but uh, I've only seen it once. Yeah, no, and almost twice. Almost twice. Here's a bloke who's blind out there. <laughs> Mark Carroll, he just goes towards where the other players are stinking. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, he smells them. That's why right. He smells them maroon. <laughs> He goes a kick from one of the John's boys. He's got it up there and it's just going to fall it's a beautiful down. Kick. Oh, it's well. He's going to hold up in goal. Oh, no, he's going to have to play it. Robbie O'Davis comes back with the ball. Very he's slow, to, very with, slow. Oh, he ran him. straight at the player and just uh, sort of tried to walk all the time of him. But he can't do that to Brady Lakai. Way it comes now on the far side onto uh, Zeppo. Zeppo knocked over there. Is the Kummel Kitty. And away it comes now with uh, one of the other runners there for Maroons taking it up the middle and he's got made a gain of about uh, 25 metres now from Blue heaven and back it comes to the lamb lamb onto the bloke with two or three pairs of trousers on out there i don't know why he's got the trousers on but it looks good oh, that'll be a penalty the future yes, is wonderful that, that, oh, that's, that's a penalty. penalty that was Hearn. tony Hearn. tony Hearn. tony Hearn. He, 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 he's the a penalty pulling specialist <laughs> the biggest trousers in lead they say he's a penalty puller that's why he's in there look at this let him pull that one that's brilliant work from tony Hearn. god that's that he's there the, the he'll penalty. pull four four and four again now the great thing about it is, is that the future, mm. in the past, you wouldn't be able to do that. No, you wouldn't. Penalty pull and spare no. <laughs> no, you wouldn't allow the luxury no, of having right. a penalty pull. <laughs> you couldn't carry it. But now that you've got every loophole covered, yeah. you've obviously got to have a penalty pull in there. <laughs> and we see I'm, Maroon. Well, if these lacking New South Wales, I don't think have a penalty pull. No, I think it's right. And Alan, gee, he makes easy yards, doesn't he? Straight onto the Triple J side. <laughs> Here we go, the blue pants. It's easy to tell Alan on to last, and last is having a match of his career so far in the future. Spuddy Carroll knocks him over with about to cut loose there. Wow, Bartram! Bartram! 
Bartram sets away. Oh, he's, he's, he's chiming Jeez, in the back line. Cross move. move. Francis. Well, I haven't seen that. Well, it's uh, 63. <laughs> it comes here to Lamb. Lamb cuts out a player on to Dale Shearer, is it? Dale Shearer decides that he went to show the ball oh. and he's lost the ball in the tackle. Oh, he's got all the skills. And I just scrapped that as a kill the ball up. And then the oh, how can that be? The how can that be? Oh, no. Showbiz. Oh, Brian. Here's the maroon tie. Here they go. They're going to get very close. Oh, 360. Oh, I haven't seen 360. And, and he knocks the ball. Come on down, bring Chico and Huffo out of the crowd and have a go to touch with us, will you, tonight? It's music here. It's so funny. Now, why wasn't that well, a knock on the previous control. It, should have been, it should have been either a scrum, a blue ball, or six, but, but, but Ward lost control completely. Oh, well, anyway, back to the Blues. I don't know what's going to happen in the future here. Anyway, away we go. Oh, he's got another one. That's twisted Terry Hill. He's got a break. One into the other. Came from nothing. He gets the ball back and he hangs on it. He decides to take the near the, the, uh, the hair puller. And away he goes. He's got a penalty point. Right yeah, oh, right. He's got knocked over. Johns comes inside. He's upended by, uh, let's see, who's that? Gilmore, so the axe. Didn't recognise him with the haircut and the new pants. Like, got him out of the future. Johns gets the ball down. Taken there by uh, one of the wingers, I think, for the, uh, for the yeah, Prince Singh side. Matt Singh. 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 It's a sweet melody. He says, oh, oh, Beautiful work from Mackay. I think that yeah, was far from his scrum. But why isn't that... Well, he wasn't offside. That? Yeah, I know. He wasn't offside. I think that's an unfair rule. Oh, no, no. He was coming back. The future. Oh, no, no. He wasn't offside. Well, oh, no, no, no. Because well, Singh hadn't been, had oh, been yeah. uh, tackled. I think it's been unfair, though. I think if I had Super League, I'd have a look at that. No, if you're Bartram, you would have got the ball away quickly. Yeah, true. Well, yeah. It's Bartram's mistake. Bloody Bartram. He's part of the future. Backside of experience. Yeah, that's true. And he's probably overcome by nerves. Way comes now as they set themselves now. One of the John's boys looking for somebody to unload decides to take the tackle. It's nil all. Hill, We've got signaling the, to the left. Uh, signaling to the left. We've played almost 11 minutes. Hill, a tummy half. Way comes to about to cut loose. He decides to hang on. He can't see any runners. It's not Penrith here. Brady, it's state of origin, pal. Way comes. They're back in on the inside, it's very congested there as though Mackay decides to keep going. Oh, come oh. on, tackle and moved on. It's either Pelly or it's not. Oh, Eddie Ward, he doesn't know what's going on. Apparently, he can smell the line. Oh, he can smell it and he can smell Garvin Allen, who he decided to run into. The way comes to Sedaris. Sedaris going wide. It's got another time. He's taking it out. Oh, he's a tricky player. Oh, 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 Indeed, he should have been a penalty try. Indeed. Let's have a look at that in, uh, in uh, replay. Here he goes. guess who it was? Gil and, and Alan. 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 Oh, well. oh, no, no, no. Tony Hearn. Tony Hearn. Oh, the, the penalty puller. <laughs> Could be pulled it the wrong way. Penalty <laughs> puller. Yes, well, he's looking for his teeth now. Uh, he doesn't think he's got anything. Will I take a shot here? Uh, well, I guess they'd have back? to. Uh, I guess one of the Johns boys was doing the kicking. Uh, well, it looks like Timmy Brash has gone off. It looks like Matty Sears is on. What a dream for Matt Sears to come, come on, on so early in the game. Well, that's tremendous. What happened to uh, Timmy Brash? Did he just fall off I think he lost interest. Oh. <laughs> he did like the future, so he didn't no. to go home. He's decided to go. He's, he's uh, gone to the Super League. Super oh. <laughs> League. Wow. He tried it what? out. <laughs> he tried out the future. Yeah. And the side wasn't right. So he signed a contract. He signed the contract as we speak. Well, it'll be great. Is when there he is. is. ARL. Yeah, he's looking as though he's enjoying it. Yeah, he just needs a pen. Yeah, that's right. And then you need. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, a little bit great is when. Oh, is that Nathan Gibbs? Yeah, don't Lord let Nathan, Nathan Gibbs get anywhere near you. I've been sick forever. <laughs> oh, Nathan Gibbs. God almighty, remember when he made the king do his thing? Here we are, look at this injury. Let's have a look at it. What happens here? Oh, well, nothing, nothing happens. Happened. No, it's the break. Oh, we're looking at the break. Oh, it's a Terry Hill break. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Uh, Terry, Terry Hill break. break. Yeah. yeah, the old hair puller. Mm. Uh, now, uh, as we see Rod Wishart. Oh, Roddy Wishart's taking the slow the, the game, isn't it? In oh, the it's so slow in the future. Uh, yeah. What I was going to say was, why don't be good when uh, the Super League has a game at, the, say, the SCG, yeah. on the same night as the ARL has a game at the Oh, would that be good? That'd be a dream come true. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Good luck, Rod. He's, oh, he's, he's missed it. it. He's oh, missed it. Right, he pulled that deliberately. Yeah, that's show business. That's show business. Thanks very much, Rod, for getting the scores equal. Yeah. Otherwise, everybody would have been tuning out. Yeah. I think we've played almost 13 minutes, and so far there's no score. So far we've seen nothing. So far. We've seen... The, most schools we've seen have come from Tony Hearn. Tony Hearn, the penalty puller. And uh, here's a... Oh, the ball stayed in play here. And now Hancock's got it back. Hancock is... Oh, he almost got away from oh, the good on one leg. Oh. He can trick him on one leg, can he? <laughs> On one leg. I don't know why he doesn't score the other one off. It's useless. It's just bangs to him out there. No, and that was a big hit from the axe. Yeah. The axe on uh, who's a car. Oh, he's trouble penalty New South Wales. Oh, no, he I can't. Have thought so. No, if the ball was on the ground, you can rake at it. Freddie Mackay making a break. Oh, 
But he, well, yeah, okay. He kicks them both ways and hopes the referee isn't noticing them. Yeah. Eddie Ward doesn't notice anything. I tell you, he's having a quiet game. He's Harrigan. I've hardly seen oh, him do anything. Oh, they're tackling him low. Kummel style. Kummel style. <laughs> Future style. Yeah. And away comes now to Pickler. Well, the John's boys working the magic. Now. Oh, here we go, here we go. We've oh, got Chris to... This is the, the hair puller in play. Here he comes. He finds a hole up the middle, but they shut him down and he can't go anywhere. So they drive him back. Oh, yes. That's more like it from yes, the Maroon. He, he might go to the thump here. He does not like being tackled. Oh, I'd he love to see him. He does not like being tackled. No, no. Once he's played the ball, is he going to do something stupid? No, he didn't. Here's uh, Fittler, uh, one of the John's one boys the John's cutting kiddie. away. On the other side now, he's beautifully waiting to kick his trouble here if they can't get Brett out Dallas of Dallas is quick. Oh, he's got... Oh, he's got it on Dallas Street. Oh, Drew, two on two. Oh, well, somebody took him. That's Menzies taking him down below. And uh, who's that? Sadaris up top. And away comes now to the man wearing the trousers. The trousers of league. It's not an interesting look either. No, it's Making not. It up and land. They're playing the ball quickly now. They're holding the New South Wales team down. This is Cobble kid, he's got the skills, hasn't he? Oh, he's got it all. No loopholes. They're all one eye up, one up though, these they, maroons, they, and they're making so much easy yardage. I know. Well, Where's the Blues defence? Oh, I don't know. It's gone, it's gone with Tim Brash. There's the so many loopholes in this Blues side. A pass for mine, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, up it comes, and Tony Hearn's got the ball with the trousers on. Trousers off. Trousers on. Well, he's trying to pull another penalty. Billy worked. I'd have given him one just for fiddling with his trousers. Penalty puller, Tony Earn. And in fact, it comes now. Pick up Tim Brash is out there again. Yeah. What? Well, Nathan happened? Gibbs fixed his knee. Oh, no, I don't think so. He's working that. well. Look how good that knee's working. He can get up. Look at that. He can put them all. Here comes to Wishart. I bet you Wishart passes here. No, he no, no, he's oh, not that sorry. silly. No, oh, no, no, he's never passed the ball in his life. <laughs> Gary Jack style. Right. Could have seen Gary to back Fickler. too. Gary, love your gear. Why isn't Gary Fickler. Jack playing? I don't know. He should be playing. Fickler with the ball. Back to Sadaris. Sadaris looks for somebody to run. He finds somebody to run. It looks like as though it might be McGregor is with the ball. Or no. Harrigan. Uh, Harrigan. Mm. Harry, oh, interesting. He's had a quiet game, hasn't he? He's only had the ball about 20 times. Well, look, I, I, I'm having trouble just He's, he's, he's Carroll. His buddy, he's smelling the defence and runs straight at it and finds Alan. And lashing out with his feet. Yeah, well, that's Matty Carroll, all right. buddy. Ah, uh, no, John's, John's, John's with the roost. Yeah, it's not a bad kick like. either. He's, he's well waited. Oh, well. oh, would you call, call that? that a oh, he's just picked oh, it up on the side. Here's trouble, and they caught it. Catch him up there, and they've made a gain about four metres away from the line. Oh, they're nerves, nerves, nerves. Billy Moore with the ball. Billy decides to play it onto uh, one of the free-running maroon stylists of the future. And uh, as we see in the replay here, the ball tapped ah. away. Almost a knock-on, Roy. Right? Yeah, I would have called it a knock-on. In the old days, that would have been a knock-on. Well, in the, in the past, it would have been, but yeah. not in the future. That's good play. And the Blues have bottled them up on about the fourth tackle now. Where they made Billy, Moore, Billy Moore doing nothing. Going 13, nowhere. 13, about to cut loose, getting down. Billy Moore, the two fingers man. He gets up and plays the ball back to uh, well, turn, yeah. the penalty pull. And well, he comes down with the trousers. I love that. I, I can't get enough of them. I man. think Bartram's going to break loose here. <laughs> I think Bartram's going to go crazy. Look at this, Bartram digging. Oh, Bartram's cut it all. And I wonder that when they say, as Chubby Close says, that they've cut all loopholes. Oh, look at that. Hancock coming back. Oh, he's going to have a look at a maroon or two. Up close. Down he's going to look at the SFS. He's going to look at the SFS. He gets back and plays back to Brasher. Brasher, Brasher, Brasher with the knee. You know, here's somebody who might pass the ball so you can forget about this. If you want to go and make a cup of tea, do it now. Uh, Good to see Dallas Hewitt doing a bit of tackling. <laughs> here's Menchie's. <coughs> Menji doing nothing. Menji, oh, um, one out, one out, one out, one out, one out, pass the money ball. Always overcome by the emotion of the occasion. Back to, uh, might have been Sadara, Sadara, on to Spuddy, Carol Spuddy, trying to find a potato pillar, and uh, Menji's doing nothing. Menji's just lost, done nothing. Well, well, I don't know what's going on here, but this is the future, and I'm enjoying it. Ah, uh, pass to himself. Yes, oh, and then so he passes it on as well. <laughs> right in the connection. Here's uh, Jordan's. Hearn with the pants, the penalty puller. What happened there, Roy? Was just right, the John's passed it to himself, thinking he was, he was his brother. Oh. It's easy to do with the rainbow connection, <laughs> working tight. And now what's happening here? Here's somebody being called been out. Pulled out. I think it's the penalty puller. Uh, no, no, it's not the penalty puller. Yes, it is. He's hurt. Here he comes. Oh, he's going to go to the blood bin. Oh, oh. Okay. Here he is. Cock a You bloody beauty. Now we'll see some league. Oh, yes, look at that. There's a mouthful of claret. But the great thing about a maroon shirt. Did he bite his own tongue or bite his own lip or what? I think so. Bit his own lip. I love the way how a maroon shirt just soaks up the claret. Yeah. And you can't tell. Yeah. Uh, Now we've got Cracker Hone out there in the headband. I love Cracker Hone. Uh, But I'll miss the trousers. Here he is now. He's He's injecting himself into the forward play. He's bottled up by uh, a couple of blues. Uh, they take it backwards, and away it comes down to Lamb. Lamb out wider, looking for, I think it might be Allen to do a bit of work here. Well, it looks like a bit like up. Billy Moore. Oh, Billy Moore, sorry, yeah, Billy Moore. Back it goes, looking for a couple of on from Buttram. Lamb on to Shearer, Shearer. Shearer weaving his magic. He's an, he's an excitement machine. Isn't he? Look at him there, just with a <laughs> blue <laughs> oozing out from underneath <laughs> the trousers, and back it goes on to, uh, that's uh, Gavin Allen there with the ball yeah. now. He's wrestled to the ground by Harrigan. Harrigan 
fifth tackle. Oh, we'll see somebody we'll try to get it for Maroons. Here goes Slam. He's got it on the toe. Up it goes. Here's a chance for the Maroons to pour on some points. It's not back. Okay, it's not back. Tackles. Oh, yes, six they're right. They've got a chance here to the Maroons. If they only know what to do with it. Oh, that's Coit. Coit decides to kick through. Kick through head over. Coit to Coit. Coit, 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 Coit. Three days, Coit. That's the future. And away comes now with the Blues running it out. Gee, the... You can hardly say the stand was blinded. No, uh, quite ordinary. But I'm enjoying it. Oh, I'm loving it. It's oh, the best game I've seen in years. Best game I've seen since 84. <laughs> He's the boat with it. Oh, no, it's Sedaris. Away comes the Hancock. Hancock's falls over. He sees a couple of maroons and decides to have a bit of a... Oh, I like the way he stood on that boat. And away comes now. Who's this... Uh, with Spuddy Carroll. Spuddy Carroll. What's he done to his hair? What's um, he funny to his hair? Funny haircut he's got. Mm. What if his mum knows about that and approves? Menzies has done nothing. Do you yeah. think he's right to be in the side? I don't think he's 100%, actually. And I think the Maroons are playing offside, as we uh, thought they might have done. I speculated earlier on. Though, he's one of the John's, oh, the John's like boys kick. kicked to himself. Yeah, he's, he passed to himself earlier on. Now oh, he's, he's trying to kick to himself. Dale Cherry, he's a bit of an excitement machine, isn't he? God, this, <laughs> isn't he quick? Oh, he's, he's so quick these days. I, I love everything about him. I, I used to think he had a bad attitude. But tonight, mm. he, I've, he's turned me right around. And he's got me going forward. Cheer it wide. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's just an excitement. A touch of excitement comes over the game whenever he touches the ball. Let's there are look so at many it. skills to be seen out here tonight, actually. I think that's what people are enjoying, the, the, the level of skill. Uh, For Johns to pass to himself and then kick to himself. Later, try to kick to himself. Slam with the ball now, the close to the line, about 12 out. The Blues will have to do a bit of defending close in now. They worked away. They got sheer. God, there's so much about him that I like. I oh, know, just taking around. He wasn't taking high. Oh, he was taking around. Uh, He's playing uh, a penalty. We're going to say a penalty anyway, so it's going to be Maroons in front by two. Oh, he's going to call him out. He's going to call him out. Yeah, there'll be a penalty here. Oh. That was harmless. You know it, I know it. Everybody knows it. But Eddie Ward has decided that he would like Queensland to have a couple of points. Well, who wouldn't? I'd love to see Queensland get a couple of points. Yeah. I've had enough of bloody New South yeah. Wales dominating. So I, let, let, let's see the replay. If we can see the replay, if Nine would give us the replay, I'd be very happy because there was nothing in it. It was just around the chest. Uh, just well, around the chest. And who's going to do the kicking? Who's this uh, bloke? I this hope is it's uh, WC Fields, is it? <laughs> Coming up with him. I think it's yeah, Wayne like Bartram. Is that Bartram? That's that Wayne Bartram. Well, I wish he was Ben Iken. I think that'd be give the kids, kitty something to remember his first state of origin by. Yeah. And look, oh, there's a lot of chat. Nobody's forgotten to bring the sand. Yeah, well, Fittler's been told he's captain, so what captains do is. He's going to have a kick for Maroon goal, is he? Mm. I mean, what a fast this is. Listen to the crowd, aren't they? Enjoy yes. the course. Well, I suppose Fittler would have gone up and said, uh, Excuse me, Eddie, I'm the captain of the Blues. No. Well, what I'm just saying I'm penalty? captain of the blue. What would you give that penalty for, Eddie, then? <laughs> uh, as we say, oh, somebody's remembered to bring the sand, and that's... Yeah. Uh, that's well, that's sand, sand, <laughs> sand kitty is that's like, something out of the past, isn't he? <laughs> like that look, but here it is. Oh, how can that be considered? Look, it's applauded by captain. Yes. Look at this. We'll see it here, and we'll see it just around the shoulder. <laughs> Nothing in it. Nothing in it no, at all. If that's the future. I'm going back to the past. I'm just mm. going to look at old tapes from now on. Mm. We're going to look at the future ever again. Bartram's a terrific kicker, though. Is he? Oh, yes. Round, round the corner. Oh, he's an old-fashioned round yeah, the corner. Yeah, he'll point. loop it. He oh. might even swing it. He might aim for the outside post and try to curl it around. I hope he does, because he's not seen Bartram, it. Bartram, about to put the points on the ball for the Maroons. Has he got it up? Oh. He's missed it. He's missed it. Gee, the standard oh. is terrific in all quarters, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Um, gee, this is exciting. And, gee, you know, it's only 20 minutes, but I feel as though I've played 70 or yeah. commentated 70. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's going by mm. poof, really mm. quickly. And obviously, nine think it's so good that they've decided to show some ads. That's how good they think it is. Well, I think this ad, I don't know what people are getting at home. It's more exciting than the football. Yeah. I mean, anything I could think be Wayne happening Bartram here. directed this. And what's, what's all this about now? Reds, red and white. Oh yes, it's the yes, some funny moments like these. You need minis or something like that. Would that be the would that be the tag? Would that be what's going on here? Oh, yeah, good on <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit hard to so call. So funny, ads. yeah. Normally we try and call the football when the ads mm. on, but this year we're not going to try and do no, that. No, why not? We're hideous to ourselves <laughs> in the past. God, here they Ford go again. Ford Here's the Maroons. Oh, and the knockback. I think and they might have been six. He was offside. No, might give us a nine ball back. No, might be six more. And away it goes to the Maroons, Maroons. Oh, look, now, why isn't that a penalty? <laughs> well, I mean, look, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything about the league anymore. He's quacker hone. Hone with the ball. I hope hone gets a try. Somebody's trying to take his head off. Mm. Anyway, be that as mate. Unscrew Very hard it. thing to do. <laughs> It's <laughs> good. Oh, there you go. Here's oh, the man on the top of the line. On the line. Oh, 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 he's having the game of his life. Apart from that match against Crushes v Parramatta of three months ago, which is the only match he's ever played. Back it comes. Back it comes to a maroon and away goes to Lamb. Lamb looks for a run and he finds it in the big 
fat, slow-moving Gavin Allen, <laughs> who's probably the best player on the park at the moment. Here he comes, Cracker Hone, a dummy half. Got Cracker Hone, a dummy half. Here's a try. Here's a chance. They're going to knock it dead. Oh, Brash has got the right thing there. And as you say, Roy, skills, skills, skills. Well, That's what the, the game is about. Weren't the Blues under pressure there? So much pressure coming from the Maroons. It went out to the left and Shearer, and you always know when Shearer's got the ball that something is going to happen. Yeah, I mean. You can't predict what's going to happen. All you know is something's going to happen. It went out to the left. They had Shearer out in the left. And then Danny Moore cunningly brought it across the veal Bartram out to Lamb on the right-hand side for the little for the little kick. What I like so it. much pressure, they were under, they absorbed it all. I know. What I like is when Cracker Home plays dummy half. Yeah. There's something new and modern about that. Yeah. Having a big second rower in a dummy half, tapping the buttocks of the player in yeah. front and clapping my hand. Oh, here comes the last one. Larson's had a quietie. Anyway, he's got plenty more time yet, and he's no stranger. We only played 24 minutes. I think Danny Moore could cut loose uh, sometime in the next in this set. Danny Moore. Set of, yeah, in this set of six. Number four. Number four. Oh, he caught the eight years. Oh, sorry. I'm yeah. thinking of Billy oh, oh, there you're right. Well done, Roy. Oh, he's up into his last ball. Steve he's come down with it. And that was Danny Moore, oh, and he blew it. But that was the time for Moore to really turn it on, and he blew it. Right away goes a fifth with a run to uh, Braska. Braska goes nowhere. He's bottled up by Larson. Larson, a big bloke. From the colder climates of Norway, out there playing the league. <laughs> and away comes to, uh, let's see, Sadara, Sadara, on the, the smeller. The smeller goes forward and he's found a couple of stinking ones in the form of uh, um, uh, um, Moore, Billy Moore, and of course the uh, axe. Away comes down to Harrigan. Harrigan, Harrigan has me. No, I don't Harrigan. think he's fit. I don't think he's fit. Harrigan's hardly put a hit on him. Yeah, I'd, take, I'd take him off. I oh, know, back to about the There he goes, he's got a pass away. Oh! oh. Without the ball. Touch of excitement. He killed that player with when he didn't have the ball. I saw that, Eddie Ward. Why didn't you? Away goes the John's boy. The John's boy gets it away. Oh, it's oh, off somebody's toe. Yes, that that's might have off. come off uh, I, of think that came, I thought that came off his foot. That came off Dallas. How's it going to be read here? It looked to us as if it came off Dallas. Let's see how this is going to be read. Well, I think they've said that, you know, the crowd's getting vocal behind yeah, us. Yeah, settle down, mate. A lot of the people I think are here tonight are thinking Super League could be a winner. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, this stage. At this stage, you'd yeah. have to say Super League is a bit of a winner. Um, I mean, it's early days, you know, for the, the future. From it's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's very good. Now, yeah. I reckon that ball came off somebody's foot. Yeah, it did. Brett Dallas's foot. He's got it at the moment. He was taken a little bit high there, Brett Dallas, and ridden to the, ridden to the ground doggy style. And away comes now to, oh, he almost lost the ball, didn't play the ball, on the lamb, a lamb out wide looking for a last and the last one just starts to get on a bus, and he uh, motors up the field looking for that touch of excitement machine, Dale Shearer. Can't get the ball away. Bartram. Back it comes to Bartram. It's knocked Set down. To oh, look at this. It's all the skills. Oh, right the off skills. They're going backwards now. Lamb. The, the lamb almost gets around one. Skills. Oh, well, bottle up there. Oh, he's going to give it a late oh, tackle. Yeah. Late tackle. Oh. One on. One on. Look, he's got to give a late tackle there. I know a lot of people will disagree with that, but they've got to get the ball up the other end. Yeah. There's no point having it here. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's right. This. That's right. And they, they pull that penalty without the uh, specialist out there. No, that's right. Screw specialist. In the so no loopholes. No, Even if no he's loophole. not out there. They can yeah, still they can pull it. Beautifully. <laughs> there he comes back on Here now. he comes. Hurt uh, is back. And Cracker Hones off. Gee, Cracker looks a bit disappointed that he's off. He had to be pulled off, literally, yeah. by the bloke holding him. Oh, they're taking Alan off. They're taking uh, Alan off. Are they? Yeah, Alan's worn out. Yeah, he's bang it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he he's bought put in, I suppose. Well, yeah, 20, 23 in. minutes. 25 minutes, yeah. And a beautiful kick there. So can play right over the far side away from the card table. Well, and, Bill uh, will be a little bit worried about this penalty situation. Yeah, well, the penalty situation. I, mean, I know. Well, the Blues have just been ferocious out yeah. there, doing everything. Yeah, you doing know, everything right. Everything right, except the penalty kick. Yeah. Mm. Well, he comes to last, and last looks to wait for the forward. This buddy Colin Harry and just turning him over there, and uh, they're on the 20 metre line here uh, without this, this game is slowly combusting. Isn't it? <laughs> slowly coming to life. Board pass. It is slowly. Oh, oh, oh the axe! Oh, look at yeah. old one too, and they get down and they knock it over about 14 metres out from the line, and we start to see a bit of pressure here applied as uh, Billy Moore gets up to play the ball. He plays it on to the blood beater or the penalty puller. He's inside the temp. They've got about eight metres to go here for a maroon try. And away it comes to Lamb. Lamb out goes out wide. Oh, it's Should have had a go with the toe. It's on the fifth tackle here. They're about eight. What's going to do? Bucks will put it on the toe. Oh, he's falling asleep. Oh, here they go. There's that touch of excitement there. As I think it might have been Hancock. Deal with that and slip. That's the way. He fell asleep there. Yes, he did. He forgot that he was playing very low. He forgot he was part of the future. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so now we see a goal line drop out. There's a draw. Uh, goal line uh, drop out. And yes. we see the match get underway. What I've enjoyed is the penetration from the Maroons with so much possession. 
Hasn't the penetration problem been fantastic? Well, uh, They've know, been threatening so much. I often look at the score and I think nil all, and I think, could that be could that right? Be true? Yes, it should be about 40 nil Maroons, given the out position. Well, I've been on the Maroon case for a long time. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think there's been a tremendous display well, of can the blue damn wall hold? Well, that's what I'm wondering. I, I Look, we've got about 17, 13 minutes to go to half, to half. Yeah. And I believe we could see about 16 points to the Maroon by half time. Yes. I mean, look, it's just... Yeah, look at the PT. Look at him go. Look, look at the penalty pull. God, he's a player. Jeez, he's, he's going, isn't he? He's changed those trousers. He's got a different he's got set on there. He goes, lamb, he can smell it. Oh, right. Here he goes. Oh, oh, he's so quick. He gets pushed back though by a number of blues. The blues are very complacent, boys. Yeah. They yeah. believe... Well, they're not running up. They're just letting them come at them. No, well, there's no, there's no oh, game plan. Oh, look at that touch of his sight when he threw the ball on the so ground. Going, no, oh, well, he's got to go around. Oh, 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 give it to the axe. The axe is the one to get through. Oh, this is, oh, this is tremendous. Go on, give it to Shearer. Go on, go away around it. Come on, Bartram, give it to Shearer. Go on, Bartram. Here he is. There, he's got oh, a lot of the time. Oh, no, go on. Get on there. Sorry, get on there. Oh, no, 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 that's a, that's a knock-on. Well, unless they say oh. off the knees, isn't a knock-on? Oh, I don't know. It wasn't off the feet. It's supposed to be off the feet. That was off the knees. That was off his dude. <laughs> he just put the sloop out the yeah, rest of the Yeah, he booted the ball. Here's the, the hair pull-up. Here's the hair pull-up. He's got the ball. Gee, the hair pull's done a lot tonight. Has me. He's just been magic. He's been everywhere. Away mm. they go. Here's Sparty smell on him and hitting him. Crackers out there. the feeling with the Blues, they could, they could score from anywhere. Oh, he's lamb. He's looking a bit worse for wear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they could it's score from anywhere. Yeah, that's a good pass and to uh, John. Player, it's, oh, to that's be... another good bloody kick. He's done it again. Rescue. The player yeah. had to be rescued by the touch judge. Yeah, I think. someone's <laughs> come in. I think the touchy's come in on this one. The bearded so nautical, nautical touchy. He might have been on the um, HMAS Melbourne. I think so, when it hit the void. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a nautical look about him, that bloke. Oh, Hill, the hair puller, getting a bit of his own medicine back. Yeah, look at this. Wake up. God, Wake come up, on, Hill. It's the future. This is state of origin, sonny. How oh. many fingers am I holding up? Look. How many? Count them. How many bloody fingers? Oh, look at this. You ask him who's the leader of the opposition in Victoria. That'll sort him out. That's the only way to tell him it can cast. Mm. Oh, this is a... I mean, have we forgotten so much? Have we come so far to find we know so little? Mm. This is the league, Roy. Mm, I know, I know, sorry, I know. I, I, feel, I feel as though I'm up... No, he looks better now. He looks better now. Well, what's that going now? Harrigan is going to be penalised here. Harrigan elbowed Larson. This is the theory. He elbowed Larson in back play, and uh, therefore there's going to be a two points awarded now by the looks of things to Queensland. Yeah, it's a very interesting game. Yes. And he's, he's going to be on, on the report. Oh, why don't you send him off? He'd be scared now. He'd be, his legs would be going under him, wouldn't he? On the report. Well, on the report. So far, from this, they'd be better off taking a tap, wouldn't they? Mm. Here, rather than trying to... No, they're going to the two points. Yeah, but they're miles out, Roy. This is my point. Is they're about oh, they didn't five. front. They, they didn't front. front. But on the kicking so far, on display in the future here tonight. Yeah, they've got yeah. bathroom. You forget yeah, that. If you get the bathroom back. Get two points, really. Yeah, this will be a definite two points here from the bar. He's dead in front. Dead in front. Oh, what, yeah. about 30, 30 metres out max? Did you realise that Bartram was a kicker until tonight? I knew he had a lot of skills. Yeah. I and knew he had a lot of skills. He had a complete game. Yeah, yeah. No loopholes. Here he is. God, he looks fit. Yeah. Uh, and he has a couple of breathes. Yeah, he should get this, mate. There's no problem with this one. There it is. Easy. Yes. Easy so the first score in the bottom of the Origin 1995, New South Wales nil, Queensland 2. This is Rugby League. This is State of Origin. This is the next generation on Triple J. To uh, the uh, after the kickoff, looks as though the Maroons have got the ball, and that's last. And of course, involved in that heavy altercation that got them the two points in the first place. His cracker hone about to explode. Uh, he's uh, knocked over by a wall, about 400 blues. Some people out of the crowd. Have a come poor down. play the ball. I would have penalised. Right? Here's, here's Dale. Oh God, he's so exciting, isn't he, Roy? Mm. Everything about him oozes class. 
Yeah. Even the you short... know what? I've got a feeling the blues are on what I'd call go slow. Pitch. Well, it's all maroon here. Look at this. This is easy yards here. I mean, the blues are complacent here tonight. Go and... slow, Bill. Well, I, I think uh, there's a vested interest in a maroon. Oh, totally vested interest. Mm. I think they're playing incredibly well, the blues. Mm. Because you've got to remember that the maroons have to win this yeah. to keep the series alive. Yeah. And the Blues look as though they're trying, but without doing anything with the ball. Yes. I mean, I, that's I, hard. I don't think they look as if they're trying at all, actually. Don't you This is my to, point. I think, I think they're on go slow pills. Well, I think, you know, as we see Spuddy Carroll coming back, you know, mm. all the match has been in the, uh, in the blue territory. Yes. And, and uh, three, Johns often, has been deliberately kicking shallow. Yeah, to in keep the, him in it. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. It's all show business. It's yeah. World Wrestling Federation. It's all come, show business. Come to, uh, as the Blues... Motor up. There's hardly been a break made by any blue ball. Well, Hill had a break earlier. That was the only break we've seen uh, in uh, in the whole match. Hmm. And away it comes now. We'll see John with the ball. This time. I know Kips with a bit of depth now. That's he a turns bit better. Turns to maroon around, and uh, away goes Robbie O'Davis now from deep in the maroon territories. Knocked over by a couple of blues there in but the But the chase, the chase game oh, the from the blues off. was dreadful. I know, there's no chasing there's at no all. There's no chasing. They've forgotten the fundamentals. No intensity. And it's the future here. They're just sitting back waiting for the Maroons to come to them. There is no, in, no intensity from the Blues. And away it comes now as we see the uh, young, the young firebrown Gary Larson cart the ball up on his moped. Oh, he goes now to the touch of excitement machine. Back to Alan. God, Alan looks fresh as the day, yeah. doesn't he, out there? He looks better now than he did when he was Before dead. he took the hit. Mm. Uh, and away he comes now to the pants of, uh, the pants of Lee. Hearn. Hearn. Mm. Oh, Hearn takes another couple of easy yards off the mark and all back it goes now to Lamb. Lamb looks for a runner there, knock on. Yeah. Oh, Davis. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, I reckon well, they should get that. I reckon that should be a maroon penalty there. Mm. Because, I, I mean, he so. tried. He tried. Mm. And wait, they oh, go down the pass. Oh, here goes, here goes McKillop. McKillop down the outside. He's, He's going to go into touch. Oh, no. Is he into touch? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, no. Moore. Moore's fired up. Oh. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, that was good then. Yeah. Okay, he runs, he shows so him the sideline. what did McGregor do here? Was he really taken into touch? Yeah, he sort of was, really, wasn't he? Well, you've got to have three or four to get McGregor down, yeah. and they got had three or four there on the spot. Yeah. Gee, the maroon jumper so got it. McGregor took the wrong option, you Well, he's say. complacent. He had to keep him in it. Yeah. And away comes now uh, the maroon feed, maroon lamb. Goes all the other way. Oh, they almost got him away. They didn't know where that one went, and they'd realised they were right underneath them. Okay, it comes to uh, Bartram. Bartram on the way. Davis is injecting himself into the line. Is it? No, it's not. It's Billy Moore. Mm. Don't know why I thought that. Oh, the uh, Goody's ringing the change. Yeah, fairly he's coming he's, on. He's uh, saying, you know, defence. We need more defence. And it's uh, like Florimo. Yes, Florimo. Well, uh, they, they need something out there. It's hard to say who they'd, uh, who they'd take off, but we're not seeing many skills from the uh, Blues, I must say. Well, there's hardly anything. Oh, here we are. Something like you don't give it to McGregor. Anyone just run out. Oh, that's better. Oh, right. Oh, oh, right. Okay, this is the touch of the Oh, oh. forward pass. Forward pass. Oh, what are they talking about here? Oh, who's this? Uh, this is the uh, Manly player. Yes. Craig Hancock. Hancock, yes. The ball. And wait, it goes into uh, Maroon Territory. Oh, Mandy, do something. Do something, Mandy. Don't it's bloody good. Yeah, we've come a long way to see you, pal. So far, you've shown us bugger all. Oh, he's having him. They pulled the chief off. Well, 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 why wouldn't you pull the chief? Well, he's he's like, oh, that's a good thing to work. Is that one of the John's magic that we just saw? That's part of the Newcastle connection. Ah, oh, no. Well, no, Sadara. Yeah, Oh, now what? I oh, we'll see the ball. I thought that was a knock on. Yeah, so did I. I thought they promoted the ball. Forward. What's that sort of attack going to be? Oh, oh yeah. Well, it's well left by uh, O'Donnell. Oh, tap tapped from the 22 or whatever. Yeah. Well, they're great skills there, Shamo. You said, well, I'm, they? I'm a, looking on the left foot. I'm amazed by the level of skill. And yeah. Maroons get the ball back and run out about the 30. Uh, looks to me as though Mark Coyne with the ball. He comes on to Lamb. Lamb gets away. The uh, Kamul connection. Dallas in a dummy half here. Uh, no decides to the better of it. Way it goes over the far side to Allen. Allen looks for uh, either up over the 50. Gee, they make easy yards. Uh, well, the defence isn't moving up on them. Well, they, it's, you know, they're, they're just standing there. Look at this. They're standing there. Goolies, goolies, goolies got to get them into the rooms and talk to them about league in the future and what it means and stop thinking it's basketball well, no, I, I think they've, they've all been told listen boys just have a quiet night tonight don't do anything silly just relax and uh, have a nice game of football uh, because none of you are threatened by losing your position in the next because <laughs> we've got nobody else <laughs> to put nobody your on the place <laughs> <laughs> that's right you're it you're going to say oh cookies coming on there's been a lot of talk about this cookie well the cook boy mm. uh, modelled himself on everything that Wally Lewis had done mm. Mm. so you expect big things from him mm. now I think what have we got here we've got about uh, 35 minutes of play a lap no, it's good to see Fairley out there, though. He'll uh, five minutes. Yeah, he'll five them up. Well, yeah, Hearn's coming on. The off the uh, 
the, the uh, uh, penalty puller. <laughs> puller. Penalty pulling specialist. I don't know why he goes across the back line there. I tell you, you miss out there on a night like tonight. It's mm. backdoor Benny Elias. I never you thought do. I'd say this. Mm. But somebody's going to entertain you while the ball's in motion. Yeah. Never gets anywhere, but can just entertain. Yeah. Showing the ball. Showing the ball. You know, Pointing when nothing happens. That's right. <laughs> you know, dummy, dummy on the try line. You know, all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. And Mackay runs the ball up over the 30 metre line. As we see now, a very disappointing first half from both sides here. Uh, no stinks. Well, there was a minor oh, stink. stink. Yeah, a bit of a stink. Nothing, went, nothing much happened. Spidey Carroll smelling out the opposition here. Yeah. Uh, I wish they'd put Greg Foro on. He might liven him up. Oh, oh Rowdy. Rowdy. Oh, he, oh, this John kid, he's got it, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. He's, he's got, got another John's kid here. Oh, here it is way outside. And here's uh, Wish Hardy won't pass the ball. He decides to kick it this time. Oh, oh this he won't run. Yeah. You can see why Yellow Irish are so well, can't you, with those sorts of skills? You can see why they're top of the bloody tree. Uh, now, um, look, as we, oh, I mean, that is disappointing. I well, mean, there's no combination. No, there's, there's no not. combination with the Blues. It's all just one out. Yeah, it's all one out, no combination. And, uh, well, in terms of performances, with the Blues, has only been Brad Mackay and no one else. Terry Hill earlier on made a nice break, but that's all I've seen. I tell you, with the Maroons, though, it's Shearer. Well, that's and what Lamb, I mean. I was going to say, Kummel connection. Sh Shearer, Lamb, the Kummel connection, as you point out, and then uh, Bartram. Yeah. Bartram's the big point scorer on the night. He's got two. Well, Bartram should be, he, he, he's kangaroo. He'd have to oh, be he'd kangaroo. Have to be kangaroo. Yeah. And, and gee, doesn't this make a lot of nonsense about how it's all going to be blues in the Australian team? Mm. But from what we can tell in the first half, it's all going to be bloody that's maroon. That's right, with Brad Mackay. With Brad Mackay. Yeah. Oh, is the axe going forward? Gee, the yeah, axe is out of blinder. I think we're in the last uh, minute and a half. Of the oh, first but half. First half. That could be right and away it goes now across the far side there. There could be a try on before half time. Wouldn't have a try here. Oh, yeah, yeah, wouldn't that oh, be good? Got to run more. 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 Is or is it coin? Shearer. Shearer taken there. And, uh, oh, well, there's, uh, I think, the fifth tackle. And, oh, oh penalty. penalty. No play on. And away goes back there to the tight, tight machine. Oh, oh look. Shearer, oh, so quick, those hands, those silken hands. Well, I think that should be a maroon ball there. And, uh, yes, they might. Oh, he's got a sort of gay, sort of sort mincing, of mincing style. Style. Yes. You know, oh. approach to the task at hand. Fair. Now, he just grabs here. Fo oh. Foppish look. Foppish, yeah, very much. The, you know, the, gee, wasn't that well read by uh, McGregor? Yes, it was. And Beautiful it's certainly event. badly rigged by Sidaris, who's meant to be one of these great players of the future. Yeah. Oh, almighty. Well, only, uh, it's O for a Bradley Clyde. Uh, back it comes uh, to, uh, let's see, more, more. Oh, he's got to try. Yes. Oh, almost there. Coit stelled up over the line and pushed back there a metre away. Oh, magic here. The crowd loving every minute of the future here. And uh, who's this? Bartram. <laughs> All the skills, Bartram. <laughs> Deciding to go by himself. Plays it back there. And the Maroons get it away. Lamb with the ball. Oh, they show the ball in. It comes on the other way. Might be one of the coins. Now, where's Shearer with the kick? Might be... Shearer with the kick over the top. Oh, here we go. Back to... Uh... Oh, it's in there. Oh, it's going wait. Oh, no. He almost got the ball away. But he was just stopped on the line. This is excitement, Roy. This is the future. And I'm loving it. Shearer. Oh, oh the old pass. one, two. Six. Tackles and the turnover. And so it comes back to the blues. Did you see that skill from Shearer? I did. Oh, he's is. magic. He is the future. No wonder he's going to be playing for Australia. Jimmy Sedaris out of dummy half and away he goes. He's got to pass it. Oh, I'm not in the last 10 seconds, Sonny. You don't pass the ball now. Oh, he's got a touch of the cliff lines about him, and I like it. <laughs> Baker comes to about the cut loose. He's done nothing for mine. Obviously overcome by nerves on the big occasion, the captain in the side and arguing the referee. And away comes now to... Wish 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 he won't pass it. He can go and put the tee on for half time now, if you like, ladies and gentlemen. And there's yeah. the hooter. Oh, Roy, what a magic afternoon it's been, or evening of football it's been. Let's take a short break and come back and get your thoughts, Bozo, on the first half. It's raw, it's rude, it's rugby league, it's the next generation. You are on your way to the future on Triple J. first half it's been the score at half time here at the Sydney Football Stadium and state of origin number one is Queensland 2 New South Wales nil. the future started off pretty bloody impressively as far as I'm concerned in this first half 
to think that uh, Queensland has came here with hardly anybody thinking they could win and they're in front on the scoreboard and through the enormous efforts of people like Dale Shearer and Wayne Bartram and uh, the Lamb Boy and you go through the whole Queensland lineup and it's as, as suggested at the start. Paddy Borton has done a tremendous job here and there are absolutely no loopholes. On the other hand, New South Wales Roy, just a hopeless bunch of jokes wandering around on the afternoon. Could be anybody out there playing in the blue jumper. Very, very disappointing. I don't know what uh, Super Coach Gould is going to do to them half time, but he better bloody get a big bloody rocket up their dates or otherwise this score of 2 0 will remain as it is at full time. But the future, it's been bloody wonderful, Roy. Yes, well, well uh, Queensland have had all the territory, all the possession, uh, all the opportunities and haven't been able to uh, transform those opportunities into points. Uh, the defence of New South Wales has been very, very professional, very, very good. Uh, so, with Brad Mackay has been the outstanding person, but in attack they, they have demonstrated nothing, uh, the Blues, and that's been the disappointment. And that's what uh, Gould will have to work on uh, in this uh, half-time break get their, get their uh, attack working. A little bit of confidence in attack. That's all I need. Roy, when you came here tonight, did you think... Just, no, no. Sorry, yeah. yeah, you didn't think anything. OK, well, we'll take a short break and come back with the second half of the future in a few moments' time. And then we want to count to three, you go. Okay. One, yep. two, yep. three. Oh, the drive. I'll start again. Okay. Welcome to my new book, Sandman's Advice to the Unpopular. You got a book out? Yes, I have. Not another t-shirt? Oh, don't take that tone. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a bit mocking. Oh, excuse me, I'm excited about the book, though. It's over 130 pages. Of what? 
My stuff? Well, the old stuff. Naturally. Good stuff? Uh, maybe not. Oh, I'm looking forward to reading it. Mm, you don't sound it. But I'm looking forward to reading it. That's better. Where do I get it? ABC Bookshops. And anywhere where below average books are bought. Your mother must be Don't bring her into this. The whole family. Don't talk about my family. If you like it at the time and like what you're hearing, it's time to turn up your radio. Yeah. And catch the likes of Custard, the Fobes and Fireballs playing venues and unis throughout Victoria, Adelaide, New South Wales and Queensland as part of the Turn Up Your Radio Tour, all through May and June, presented by Triple J. And if you just missed what I said, turn it up a bit louder. couldn't find the song you wanted but call back next week and i'll play anything from billy joel we are on the air no matter 
where you are in Australia. Triple J's Music Request Fest is open seven nights a week, absolutely free. Michael Tun weeknights and Katrina Roundtree on the weekend. Music Request, seven nights a week on Triple J. I pick it up. Picard, Ahura, Kirk, Chekhov, and you, all crammed aboard on your way to the next generation on Triple J. Yes, welcome back to the Sydney Football Stadium as we see Billy Moore stretching his jaw. Shouting out Queenslander. And pull, which are the uh, code words for this evening. There goes the New, New Guinean connection past us. Here's Larson and, uh, you know, that really led to somebody putting his teeth back in. But uh, excitement reigns here at the Sydney Football Stadium. We've been able to canvas uh, various people's opinion. We spoke to Chuck Raper, who described it the best game he's ever seen. Reg Gasnier thought it was uh, brilliant. Uh, and also Mal Meninga thought it was a tremendous feat uh, that Queensland had been able to claw their way back into competitive status uh, in 40 minutes of football. Roy, I think that sums up largely the opinion of the crowd. I think so. I would have to preface this as though there's only five people here now yeah. behind us yeah. and three of those I've spoken to. Yeah. Who have you spoken to in halftime? Uh, look, I, I uh, spent a bit of time with uh, Bannigan. Yes. Yeah, at half Jim time. Bannigan. Jim Bannigan he, he was very excited by what by what was unfolding. He, he thinks the, oh. that the Maroons can do that if they keep the ball tight in the forge and starve the Blues of possession like they did in the first half. That they'll be, they'll come home with a wet sail. Uh, that 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 they were his words exactly. He said he's very proud to be a Queenslander, and uh, I, I think the Queenslanders should be should stand very tall and very proud with what they've done here this season. We're underway in second half of State of Origin number one for 1995 as Carroll comes back smelling. Oh, oh he's broken through. That's the first bust I can recall all night. That's the first break we've had from the Blues all night. This augurs well. I think the Blues... Oh, oh knock on, oh, knock on. Oh, Sadaris, all the skills. Oh. Mm. Got the Here's quiet wind. It's already. <laughs> <laughs> it was After one moment of brilliance and then it all peters away. Ah, oh, this is more like it. Oh, here we go. Freddie oh, Mackay. And skills from the defensive side there of the Maroons. And uh, up they get to the play the ball, and away it comes. I think this might be Hill with the ball now. Hill bumps off one, and he's thrown to the ground. A bit oh, of he's force. Gone the slap. oh, he's gone. He's, he's gone, gone the hair pull. Like it comes to Sedaris. Try another knock on. I can't believe that Eddie Wood didn't give that as a penalty. Oh, great what? kick from the Don's kitty. Look at that. Well, straight to the Queenslanders, but never, me, never mind. There's, who's this with the ball? Lamb or Singh? And he gets pulled oh, down by. Um, mm. his, oh, here's a man who's funny. Mm. He's very, very funny. Back it goes to, uh, let's see, Moore. Oh. Moore ducks his head and goes forward. And the only way he knows how, but he's bottled up by a lot of blue people. And away it comes on the far side. Out it goes there. Oh, the Maroons have still got it. Moore's got to put him down. Put him down quickly. 30, th on the 30 metre line, and here's a man who's even funny than the bloke we showed you a minute or two ago. He just gets better and better, Fatty. 
I don't know where he gets a gag Boy, from. Oh, no, 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 it's the penalty puller. Here we go, back out on the far side. It's off to another more. Uh, I know, but uh, Dallas, <laughs> he's out of this blood nut, Dallas. Back it comes now onto the card table side, onto Lars, who's running very easily up the middle there. No one comes up to meet him until he runs into Steve Menz. He's done nothing. Back it comes now to uh, Moore Maroon, and Lamb gets a no kick away, and he's uh, now it's rounded up by, oh, a bit oh. of indecision in the blue ranks. He picks the ball up, oh, he passes on the, on the basher. Oh, Brasher decides to cut back the other way and decides to go underground. It's the only way to get through every, all the heavy traffic. Mark it comes now onto Wishart. Wishart will do, but you can go and put the jug on. You can turn it off if you like. Hey, because this bloke's not going to do anything. He's taken by the uh, the, the uh, Prince of Darkness, young Dale Shearer. Dale there. He tries to get his hands up and down. He doesn't know where to go. He goes in the day. Thinks that's the best place for him. And back it comes to Sadaris. Sadaris gets it away to Fittler, about to cut loose, and he's gone straight up the middle. Is there any support there? There's no John's support. Kidding. Sorry, John's kidding. Uh, John's right now connection. Right. Uh, the Fittler. Oh, oh about bloody time. God almighty. About bloody time. Who was involved there? Billy Moore? Billy Moore's still shouting out. He's a Queenslander. We know that, Billy. Now, here which we watched in replay. Look, I, I don't think this is a penalty. I know, I know I'll get a lot of people offside by saying this, but look, there. There's a the tackle's effect, and then he's pushed down again. Oh, well, you know, I mean, that happens every every moment of every minute of every waking hour of league, Roy. <laughs> Everywhere on the planet. And now he's got a time. No, he's no, he's going to the game. Oh, two balls. Right, they should play with two balls. That's going to be the future. <laughs> That'll be brilliant. Two balls. Two balls competition <laughs> with uh, two balls playing. And boy, he comes. Oh, look at this. Roddy Wishart. Go back to Illawarra, pal. Away goes on the far side, and it's taken by... This is Fittler now, about to cut loose, but he can't go anywhere. He hasn't got his scissors out. And on to Sedaris. Oh, the Blues are going forward now. Here, oh, look, it's Ooh. all one out. I mean, where's the following Didn't player? Sedaris look good, though? Oh, he does. When he gets that ball out, and he's jinking away, and he's turning away from the card. No, John's, John's, oh, John's goes, oh, cut out John, John. Here they go. Wishart gets it. Oh, he turns Jesus it inside. Moving. Oh, he's got it back. He gets it on to Menzies. Menzies gets it away, and the Blues are going forward now. They're about 20 metres away well, from the line. Quickly, pass the ball, play the ball! Surely that's a penalty if the other thing was. Away it comes. Oh, somebody got the ball. He didn't want it. Or didn't even think he was the getting cowl, it. Oh, he's, 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 he just smells coming. the speed and coming at him. And away it goes on the far side. There's a kick now. Oh, oh kicking oh, backwards. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, beautiful work there as the Dallas gets buried under a lot of blue. And away comes now. The Maroons on to Coit. Coit, 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 Coit with the run. Run. Coit, Coit, Coit. He's kicked pound on backwards. Here's the blue start to get a bit of work up here. He plays back to Robbie O'Davis. Robbie O'Davis. Away he goes from the home. Robbie O'Davis. Robbie O'Davis. Robbie O'Davis. Robbie O'Davis. He's not there. Blues and he gets up and plays it back to Bartram. Oh, he comes Bartram with the ball and then he gets it a bit wider onto Billy Moore. I think Billy Moore knocked over on the 30 metre line. Gets back and plays Bartram. Bartram gets the ball going away suspiciously forward onto Allen. Oh, the trousers of league. That's the future of league. The look of league. The look of love. And away gets on Lamb. Lamb's his guys give it on the toe. He's pounded down there. Brash doesn't know he's going to let it go out. No, just like... Don't get pushed in the for oh, He comes back and it oh, shows a bit more room there. Gets the ball. It's a bit more spirited. Moore's a push in a push in a touch specialist. <laughs> it's a bit more spirited, isn't it? Oh. Uh, it's saving time. Oh, you can put the jug on now. Put the cat out now. Might be a good idea. Oh, hit high, oh, hit, hit high, hit high. But he gets up, gets up, gets up, gets up, gets up. Get up. Back to Sadara. Sadara's will knock it on. No, he decides to pick it up. And away comes to Hancock. Hancock, very quiet tonight. Very, very quiet. But uh, bottle up. Ha has to go in the fours. He's hungry for work. I don't know when Hancock is hungry. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the future. I'm bloody back on board with the future. Oh, oh. offside. <laughs> Larson. <laughs> what a use. Well, <laughs> The great thing is, is in the future that will be permitted. Yes, of course. It's just slightly ahead of himself yeah. in the rule changes. They yeah. haven't written that rule. Uh, Arco yeah. hasn't taken that to the IRB yet. I think what is interesting is the, the, the playing of the ball is very slow from the Blues. Very, very slow. And quite quick for the Maroons. Yeah, well, and I thought, that's the difference between the two teams. I noted that earlier. Here is the, the uh, Blues are uh, very slow and the Maroons very quick. Uh, that dummy with Carroll coming up there doesn't work because everybody knows he's going to go to Wishart and everybody knows he's not going to pass it. Exactly. The back comes now, Sadara, Sadara, out wide, look for runners. He's got a couple of plays. Oh, quick air. Oh, gee, they're not gee, ready for good, it. They're it? not ready for it. Mackay is the last person on the park thinking he would get it. Back on the men's, he's done nothing. Back it comes now to the hair puller. The hair puller looks for a couple of maroons to run out and decides to run at them and then fall over and do nothing. And a slow play the ball. Look how slow he's played the ball. When it comes to Sadara, Sadara finds his yards up a ruck. He gets away. He gets away. Back oh, So now we got a chance here. Out wide it goes. Here's a bit of a poke. Up they oh, come. Oh, went the wrong way. Oh. Why they going to the left? He, he does that work. every time. He does that every time. Back on the men's. He's men's. He's away. He goes now. He's, uh, he's his spade wow. going for it. He's smelling it out. The opposition. He might be even beginning to get a bit of sight back. Uh, fifth tackle coming up. Poor play. The ball again. Away comes now. Where's the run? Oh, oh fit it up. it up. Yes, that's fair. Run on it. Butler Mark, where's it gone? Here it is. Oh, comedy of errors, Roy. Oh, 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 oh. Comedy of errors. It's going to be a hand 
Now he's played the ball. Six more. White comes away the bars. Here we go. McCoy. Yes. There he goes. McCoy. Run at the line. Run at the line. Oh, yes. Come on. Oh, put his foot on the no, no, he's got a penalty here. Uh, got a penalty here. Blue penalty. Blue penalty. Blue penalty. Blue penalty. Well, blue penalty. well, I'm not sure. Look, look, see the crowd, they're stunned. Yeah. I got a blue penalty blue from pass. Eddie. Oh, foot pass. Deliberately forward? Judge deliberately forward. I think the final pass was just deliberately forward. Well, that was certainly pretty close to being forward. Yeah, let's, let's have a look here. This one. Yeah, was that deliberately forward? Or did it just bounce forward? No, if it just bounced forward, it shouldn't be a penalty. Anyway, they're going to give him a penalty. Why not? <laughs> Bugger, give him a penalty. <laughs> I think that is a penalty. I think I saw it. I don't ever see him give two penalties. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Both ways. Well, Andy, he's pronouncing the time. But that bloke doesn't have a single one. Oh, I mean, that bloke, you know, who's that bloke? Was that the bloke with the AK of Melbourne? That's right. He was off the tip there. I'm on that fateful night and he's still arguing about it. And uh, here comes Robbie Davis with the ball. Gee, it's a much more spirited chance here. Mm. Well, the future, the second half of the future is always better than the first half. Yes, it is. Split the door a bit of a fresh mess. And away yeah, comes now. Here he comes now. Oh, the Blues, that fairly's injecting himself. And Brady Mackay trying to knock over Billy Moore. And a, oh, look oh, at that oh, bad. Burrows, Burrows, Billy Moore. Burrows, there he goes. I need a big one battle. Oh, oh, pull a Yes, pull a penalty. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let the ball go and have him uh, penalise the stripping. As the way the maroon come. Oh, Gilly, all the skills. Oh, yes, indeed. You can see why he called the axe. You can see why he calls the axe. Because he butchers everything. Well done, Captain. Beautiful work there from the axe. He doesn't even look at it here. Here he goes. Oh, oh. the head goes ahead. Oh, he had to let it go. It was so he hot. He cleaned up that but anymore. Oh, here, here come. Blues are on the ball. Blues are attacking. Oh, here they come. They ran away through. Oh, George is looking for something to do with the ball, but he can only fall over, and that's it. Where's Laurie Daly now? You need him. Back it comes now. He's the come. Oh, he's, the guy is going to get pushed into touch if he doesn't watch out. He gets up and plays the ball back to Wish out. Wish out. Pass the ball. Oh, oh, oh. Here comes Spuddy. Spuddy doesn't know where to go. All he can do is think of a little... Bring the bloody ball quickly! Back comes to Sedaris. Sedaris out wide. Oh, this is magic stuff. They've opened him up like a cat opener. Here's oh, Menzies going forward. He gets up his barrel back. Surely that's a late tackle there. Oh, wait, somebody's down. they run all over him. Straight through the middle. Come on, man. Bring up. Put a bit of muscle into it. What are you doing out there? Don't you know this is the future? Up they come. Sedaris. Sedaris out wide. Oh, not oh, another bloody kick. That was terrible. What a kick! Oh, you have to knock it over. At least they get the ball back. Oh, yeah. God do almighty, it's dreadful Very when they get tired. Very ordinary Very ordinary attack. Well, you wish there was somebody called Stuart out there. He could know what to do with no the bloody No organisation didn't attack at all. No, I didn't wish that look good when he's being stupid. Well, he's the only thing he can do is be stupid because that's all he knows. Stupid. Anyway, back we come, and I bet you he's wishing he signed with the Super League contract because he'd get a lot of money for doing those sort of things. <laughs> oh, he'd been a loon. Oh, that's a lovely. You, you, you who's kicked this? Oh, beautiful Davis. kick. And back it comes now. Oh, holding it up, Fiddler, holding the ball up in the middle there. Yes, there's Carroll running at the line. Now, let's let's organise something here. Come on, boys, get going. It. That's right, straight up the middle. And away it comes now. Uh, they're not playing a natural game according to some. I'd say it was their natural game, just a bit slower than normal. Away it comes now to John Menzies. Oh, Menzies, Menzies looking, oh, he gets it away. Sadaris out wide. Oh, oh look, look, look at this. What is going on? He's the ball's the come loose. Boy. But no, I think they get it back again. No, nah, it would have gone forward. It would be a scrum, if anything. But the Blues are deliberately not putting in. Mm. They're not putting in. Well, maybe they can't they put in. Well, I think the Royal Commission has deserved well, here. Well, they can't put in, Roy, because they're just ordinary players. That's what people forget. I mean, it's all very well. Or, I mean, it's ordinary, it's ordinary. But I, I've seen, you know, the reserve grade. The goal coaches. Well, yes, but the double sins aren't better. out there. Well, of course they play better. What's that about pulling out of his pants? Well, drugs? It's, well, I think it is drugs. Drugs for one of the job kids up the nose? Yeah, they... Oh, here, look at oh, that. Oh, fit. Oh, what a Chief. Some bloody sight, that is. Chief on a trot. <laughs> God almighty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the future's magic. And, oh, look, they're going to get the ball back from the scrum here. Oh, oh look, oh, what's happened here? Bill was offside. Oh, played offside. Oh, I didn't think that. Oh, I'd love to see that in replay. I didn't think I thought that was just good scrummaging. Just good oh, scrummaging. Yes. Well, I thought that we were allowed to do that in the future. Uh -huh. Anyway, here we go. I think this Bartram is going to take a tap or a kick. Uh -huh. Let's have a look here. He's oh, somebody kicks the ball yeah, out. You're allowed to do that. It's called a bloody scrum. But the bloke, the Queensland bloke, Queensland kicks bloke the ball kicks out. The ball. What are they meant to do? Go way right back up the other end of the bloody park and stay out of the road until they get the ball up there over the try line and then come back in? 
you know what I mean, right? I do. Go and wait down the car park till it's all clear. Six points. Out you come. Have another go. Well, he comes now, and here's the, the uh, penalty puller. Oh, somebody oh, got, got hit the mouth. Oh, and he's complaining, complaining. about it. Don't you complain to me, sonny. <laughs> we can't help you. Uh, he's Billy Moore. Look, I'm getting a sniff of a maroon win here, you know, Roy. Oh, wouldn't that be great for rugby I, I think it'd be the Philip that rugby league would need. Yeah, oh, oh. Hello. Hello. Captain on captain here. Captain on captain. No, it's Billy Moore. He's not captain. Oh, sorry. I'd like him to be captain. Mm. Oh, he's a 13 oh, on 13. Oh, he's captain. Yeah, okay. Captain Moore. Here's Robbie O'Davis going through. Oh, he gets the ball away. They all stand around. They don't know what they're doing. The way he goes Pearl backwards. Oh, here's a try. A try coming on. It looks like Moore. Moore, he's caught by Menzies. He's into a good cover defence. Pit tackle. Try, try play the ball here. They set themselves now. And away goes. The, oh, no. Here we go. He, Lamb. Lamb's going to go all the way. Oh, he's jigged it. He's going to have to go dead with the ball. Basher. Well done. Well done. Ah, oh, well, yeah, 2-0 for those who have just joined us in the future. It's 2-0 with about uh, 30 minutes to go, and I'd say... Jim people in Melbourne, they'd be queuing up for tickets now. Oh, they would, they'd be loving this. Mm, to they'd, see a replay of this. Oh, they'd, they'd love to see it. That's the first decent break we've had all night, I think. Mm. Mm. I know I keep saying that, but uh, that would be the biggest break yeah, we've the had biggest break we've had, yeah. Lamb, creative. Yeah, Shearer someone knocked was out. taken out there. It might have been Hill. Like, oh, oh, out. well, Shearer right. penalty pulling as usual. He's always taking people out. <laughs> Way it comes now. The Maroons have the ball back off the kickoff after the restart. Way it comes now over to, uh, I think it might be Larson. Larson goes to, oh, he got oh, the ball on. Surely yes, that was a forward, a forward pass. pass. Put the scrum down. Oh, the Billy skills. Moore being stupid. The skills and here Larson on display. Larson being stupid too, what's Well, more. I wish they'd get up and just get on with it instead of all this posing around pretending they've been playing rugby league. What they've been is part of the future. Yeah, he That's tried to lift his arms here to get a big pass away, but uh, it obviously back mm -hmm. Well, it was worth an effort. Yeah. Who's coming and, Oh, Terry Hill, thank... No, it's Buddy Carroll, Buddy thank Carroll. goodness. Yeah. Oh, he's done nothing all night, Buddy. This, this, looks, this is more interesting attack from the Blues. <laughs> Not more interesting. Back it comes to Brasher. Oh, Brasher is ejecting himself. Away it goes now. The Chiefs back out there for yeah. Terry Hill. Oh, Gouldy's ringing the changes. Yeah. Back it comes to Sedaris. Sedaris gets it on to Terry Hill, the hair puller. Oh, he's always going out with somebody or other. But they're mounting something here. They're almost oh, at the halfway point. Yeah, here they go. They're over the halfway oh, now. Oh, look at this. Comes oh, back oh on his, the oh, skills. Couldn't have, told, couldn't have told what he was going to do then. No, that's right. Terry Hill, they're all standing around having a cup of tea, and uh, Terry Hill comes into Oh, cracker warming up. Oh, he's looking fit too. And back it comes now. Must be about the fourth tackle now. Here comes about to cut oh, loose. Yeah. He gets the ball away to nobody in particular, just a speculator oh. coughs it up. Oh, they're all standing oh, just around. Just nothing. There's nothing going nowhere. Nobody's doing it. But I'm loving it, Roy. I'm loving it. There's a touch oh, of some... game, yeah. Well, breast cup of him, see? Yeah. Back it comes. Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, that's good. Here we go. Just give air. it a roost up there. To just bang what? it back. Oh, what, yeah. hoping that Robbie O'Davis is going to knock on or something? That's better defence, though. At least they chase. Yeah, at least they did do a bit of chasing there. So they but this is the best game I've seen since I saw uh, the young cherry pickers play the Wagga Brothers oh, that, uh, oh. last year. But that was a class act. <laughs> you know, you know, I mean, that was a match I looked forward yeah. to for weeks. Mm. This I only look forward to since about 4 o'clock today. Back it comes to uh, Gil Meester, who doesn't want to pass it out because he's had the travesty of knocking on a moment or two ago. Well, it goes now and all it comes to that big bloke, the uh, penalty puller. Uh, Hearn, I think this boy's name is. He falls over, has a bit of a snooze. Gee, the quick but that's better, holding them down. That's better. That's, that's what, what you've got to do. do. Hold them down. They've got to go back to fundamentals, you know. I mean, they forget that rugby league was invented in 1908. Mm. What they, what they well, see to be doing... what's he trying to do? Dance with him on Jazz Walls. And here he goes. He gets the kick away. Oh, that's oh, a good that's kick. Good. That's a state of origin kick. Oh, that's a some some class clown, kick. Some clown falling <laughs> on the ball instead of picking it up and rubbing it. Oh, Hancock. That's what Bozo go. teaches you at Manly, I suppose. Oh, wish I'd fall over. Oh, pressure, actually. Same, same result. Same result. Sorry, I looked at the falling oh, over. Oh, oh, what a beautiful bit of play this is. Oh. That's more like it. Well done, Hancock. Bozo teaches you that, did he? And away comes to Jimmy Sedaris. Sedaris gets the ball up. Who is this? Who is this? Fairly. Fairly. Oh. oh great pass, Fairly. God oh, almighty. Oh, this good. Doesn't he look good? He looks oh, good. Oh, I haven't seen that since. Spooned him. Spiros Leon was showing around. <laughs> <laughs> Hancock on to Harrigan. Harrigan knocked it over on the 50 metre line. There's a bit of poking oh, going on. Oh, give him a penalty. Eddie Ward, you lost control of the match hours ago. Oh, it's just, it's just, I can see 2 0 coming out of this. Mm. That's mm. all I can see. Probably the greatest result ever, the greatest upset in Origin football. Mm. Back it comes now, Robbie O'Davis with the ball knocked over by Mackay. At least Mackay does a bit, doesn't he? Well, he, he looks at he, he acts better. Yeah, he does he's act better, a lot better. better performer. Well, he's much better. He's more seasoned performer and he knows. You know, how to do it. Yeah. Oh, this oh, is that. John's kid. John's starting, himself. starting to go. He's working up. He's realised they've been on drugs all day. No, those have worn off. off yeah. yeah, oh, they're all starting to wake up a bit. Here's the chief starting to do a bit. Hello, I think we could get a result here for the Blues. Maybe there. Becky was spiked with, uh, with uh, 
Oh, that lag act all over. Well, maybe, or maybe uh, Fatty came in and told him a few jokes before the off. I must say, the crowd is incredibly quiet. Mm. I mean, normally you get a bit of poke out of the crowd, well, Roy, well, when you're calling you, you, a match. You can't blame them. Uh, Look what they've been... I mean, calls it entertainment. No, this isn't entertainment. And as you say, the, the winner here is the people of Melbourne. We must be looking forward to getting down to the MCG on May the 31st and watching this happen all before them about half a mile away in the dim distance. Hancock handled that well, didn't he? I, <laughs> very well. Gets up and plays the ball back to Sadara. Sadara on the Wishart. Which, uh, I know, Flomo. Flomo. Oh, sorry, he injected himself. But already you can see a change in this game. Well, that's, right. that's what's happened is Flomo's out there. The way he comes Matthew out Johns of, is off. Now to Fittler. Fittler. Well, he's done nothing. He deserved it. Why did he come on, Matthew John? Matthew John. Well, he got well, out of the bus before somebody else. said, go on, Matthew. Somebody got him out of the bus too early. As uh, Flomo goes forward, he does that big rooting stuff so well. Pete yeah. Moore does that too. It must be an old Sydney sort of thing. That, that uh, Peter Louis teaches them. Oh. And up kick up there right down there well, and uh, great kick, uh, great kick, no defense kick. no no attack you know where are they oh somebody coming from an offside position oh, oh robbie and davis is gone oh, oh somebody went high on him oh well oh. anyway yeah so back to dale dale with the ball dale doing everything dale being part of the future as bartham goes to a bit of a hole it's shut down there by florimo his ball over the park if it comes if it comes oh, oh, it comes. A oh, penalty. oh yeah good one good one uh, thanks greg thanks for coming on thanks flow and eddie yeah thanks, thanks for shut up <laughs> thanks for being part of the future thanks for playing the side of the super league i mean i wish half these players had signed with super league <laughs> so we wouldn't have to put up and see them go around to the night i mean we've learned nothing we've done nothing mm. nothing has been done and nothing's come out of it Except two points to Queensland. Yeah, Matt Sears might be coming on. Oh, good. Good to see Matt Sears. He might do something stupid. Have we got all that? Oh, we haven't got Adam Muir on yet. Uh, He's I think your microphone might have gone, mate. Uh, oh, okay. gee, okay. that'd be an improvement. No, try and grab another microphone. Oh. Is that better now? Am I back on? Ah, oh, good. Well, we might have used one microphone then, Roy. Uh, but uh, he's really, oh, taken high. I would have given him a penalty. Are we back on? We got this one back on. Oh, right, good. We're back on. Oh, what's happened here? I think he's paid a scrum. Mm with a New South Wales fee. How oh, about really? that suggestion? Oh, yeah. I've got a penalty here. What, Larson's done something stupid? No, it's or a is scrum. It a I'm not quite sure what happened to you. He must have knocked the ball on. Oh, yeah, Larson must have knocked the ball on. Well, yeah. no, why did he give a knock the ball on there? Oh, there. Yeah, there it right, is. Got it. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. Looks like Brady McCoy might have got a hand in that, but anyway. Well, that's that's Teddy Ward. Oh, that's, that's Teddy Ward. Yeah. Oh, what's Dale <laughs> doing now? Playing the thinker down there. Did you see that? Some gesturing to his head, saying it works. Back it comes now under Florimart. Florimart. Oh, oh, the fastest pass we've seen all night. <laughs> fairly, fairly, fairly dragged over by uh, who's that number twelve? There is that uh, uh, Gary Larson. Yeah. Oh, the bloke who uh, caused the problem before. Well, he's harrying us. Oh, he's staying now. Oh, he, oh, he's practically mentioned he was tackled already. Why aren't these blues doing something? I mean, they just stand around all the time. I mean, is that the way he good coaches these days? Mm -hmm. Well, just stand on the yeah, spot and yeah, yeah. stand on the spot and back it comes now. Here's Harrigan. Gee, Harrigan's livening up. Yeah. That rest and that trot that he moved really good. <laughs> running oh, on the spot. he just got his leg trotting off. Oh, right, right, he'll be off. Say. And back it comes now. Here's my, uh, Fittler about to cut loose. Oh, terrible dog. Anyway, oh, it might stop. Oh, fall over. That's yeah, right, fall over. Yeah. Did well. yeah, the chase did well. Yeah, they're going there. Now they just need to knock this bike. Keep him down there. Keep him down there, you dogs. Oh, bit of a tackle yeah. with your shoulder, son, not your hands. Oh, no, yeah, okay. So Rubio Davis gets up and plays the ball back to Lamb. Away goes now. And uh, ew. Oh, here they go. Oh, now, they need a pass there from Billy Moore. And he's got up laughing. Oh, he oh, loves it. it. Hey, loves it, Billy Moore. He loves it. <laughs> it's silly. <laughs> he's a, he's oh, a very well. silly bloke, isn't he? Hancock's off, uh, probably for Sears. And uh, he comes Lamb up the middle. And no, a Brashers, of... I think, move to the wing. Yeah, Hancock's off. Yeah. Now he's got a penalty here. He's got a penalty oh, here. Brad's done something stupid, has he? Uh, he held the player down or went the rake, went the grope, went the fiddle, went the gouge. Went now the he's going stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he can't believe it. Let's have a look here. Let's he might have gone look. high. Oh, no, he grabbed him by the cruets. And then as he was getting up, did he hold him down? Yeah, oh, I pushed the ball the out ball. of his hand. Oh. Only because he was stupid. He didn't believe it. Well, it's an that. accident. Yeah, it's Surely if he let worse go than that, Eddie Ward. Mm. So what are we going to get here? A uh, uh, tap, right mm. after the kick. And here we go. Cracker Holmes back out there. Gee, he's having the match of his life. Yeah. And here they come back. Coach Gould is a genius for making these players play so badly. An absolute genius for evening things up. Yeah, true. I mean, I, yes, you're right, Roy. You know, it's not easy to turn professionals into... Amateurs. Yeah. He's the still thing in an ever-changing world of league, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's yeah. now the still thing. He was the ever-changing thing. <laughs> That's right. Now he's stopped totally. He's got him. He's got him going backwards. Anyway, and the axe. 
about 25 metres out. It's 2-0 to Queensland. If you've just joined us, you've just come home, you haven't heard any of the scores, it's 2-0 to Queensland. That's right, 2-0 to Queensland. We've got about another 20 minutes to go, and if something doesn't happen soon, this is going to be remembered as one of the greatest matches of rugby league ever seen anywhere on the planet at any time. And we're talking about the future oh, as Larson. Queensland go forward. Larson, with all the skills oh, there. Larson, what a game he's having. He well, kicked he's... it through, he chased it. And he went the date. And he went the date. Yeah, back he they come now. The Here they three. go, Sears, taken high there by Billy Moore. He loves being tackled, he loves having his face kicked in. He loves being part of something. Well, he's part of bloody nothing tonight. Uh, it's rugby Ooh, league. Harris got that ball away beautifully. Uh, he isn't wish out a genius for finding the opposition. Yeah, he got dated as well. Well, well this would be probably liven him up a bit. <laughs> right back it comes now. They're queuing up for work here. Oh, oh they get the ball pass. out. Oh, oh yes, here's McGregor. McGregor. Oh, they're queuing up for work. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's all class, isn't he? He gets nailed by uh, a lot of maroon. Oh, and Dale. But he's laughing at Dale. Oh, yeah, giving Dale a high old time. Oh, is this Brasher? He doesn't mm. Brasher look good when he does nothing. <laughs> and last time, who's going to kick one of the John's kitties? Kick uh, it down again? I hope so. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, here we go. Kick, Come yeah, on, run down New South Wales. Get down there and make something of this. He's done it all for you. What are they doing? What in cruise mode? Just cruise, cruise on up cruise, and see yeah. how far we can get. Because they'll run at us. We just have to stand around and they'll come to us. Oh, well, anyway, Hill and Mackay are up there. Back it comes to my Davis. Oh, they're oh, a fool. Oh, Davis coming down the blind side. Wow, well, he goes knocked over, mate. He's going about 12. Fittler knocks him over. Fittler must be very disappointed. Back it comes. Back it comes. Now I go. Away go. Away goes. Away goes further down. Maroon, 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 Held up. Maroon gets it back. Plays the ball on a Bartram. Bartram goes out looking for that touch of a shot. And man, Dale Shiver, finds it a bit wild. That's a nice passage of play. But it's knocked over. And now Brash is there. The Blues are using their back line. The Blues haven't got a back line. They haven't got a back line on them. What the Blues have is two forward packs. Yeah. And uh, a way to go, and it's knocked on. It's come here. Oh, yes, Harrigan. Johnny on the spot. Would you call that Johnny on the spot? Back to Betty Elias. I often heard that. He that preferred to. Uh, anyway, back at Johnny on the spot. <laughs> back it comes. Uh, cut out pass is coming now. He's uh, Davis. Uh, uh, John trying to get the front. There's no runners going with him. Come on, boys. Catch up with him and give him some bloody yeah. support. I mean, you can throw a snotty rag over the lot of them. Back it comes. Somebody trying to get back on Slade. He's Pippa. Pippa cruising on up. Oh, no, at least he's in the back line. Yeah, actually, he's uh, that Florimo. Florimo in the back line. Yeah, well, oh, gee, yeah, Goodman, he's, good he's good got good done all the thinking. <laughs> he's got no loophole. Oh, no! Oh, Jim! Come on, oh, where are they? With him. Here they oh, come, here McGregor. They come. Oh, he's not far about five out from the Maroon line. And here we oh, go oh, now. Skills out of the line. Come on, come on, boy. Come on, yes, make a mistake. Put on a forward pass. Here we go. Terry Hill. There's Terry Hill. He's there, yeah. Fence it all off. The hair puller streaming down makes a break. The only bit of excitement in the night, and then can he ground the ball? And he's banging his groin. Of course, he can't. He found the ball. Because Bones and Bolton have never told anybody how to ground the ball. Is he wonder we're in the future here? Oh, that's magnificent defence from Queensland there. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant work. The score remains 2 all. Well done, Terry Hill. Why did you bother coming? I wish you had signed with Super League. Here they are. They're still attacking. Anything can happen here. Anything can happen here. Oh, look. Fiddler. Florimo. Oh, wish it Wish it was going to find a way through. Oh, Why are they We want to pause. I better run at them. <laughs> Second row. Where are they all standing still? Because that's where I'll be running. Menzies. Oh, he's got the ball. I don't know, it might be all right, though. Oh, oh, oh. Put the scrum down. Menzies, what a joke. They're not up to it. None of them are up to it. No, what a magnificent match here as we see everything on display. We see people unable to ground the ball over the dry line. We see people knocking on. We see people standing in tackles, just dropping the ball dribble style off the dude and onto the park. <laughs> it's an exciting game in the future. And he's oh, a bloke can't, can't even get, get, get into the bloody scrum. Oh, look, scrums are a joke. I rest my case. Anyway, here's Lamb defeated, and we've got about uh, 16 minutes to go, I'd say, in the match. Mm, something like that. And uh, as we see, uh, Maroons. Would you say the Blues are getting on top a little bit, though, Roy? Oh, yeah, you'd have to say so. Yeah, just Would by you? sheer weight of position. Sheer weight of position, yeah. Mm. And sheer idiocy. Sheer idiocy, yeah. yeah, yeah. They were and really the Maroons, of course, getting a little bit tired because they've been playing above themselves. Two, oh, I said right. Is that how it works? I think and so. The score is 2 0. Benji's going to have to make up for the amount of mistakes he's made. Oh, there were big raps on this, Benji's kid. Big raps. Well, big raps. The biggest raps I've seen in years. Well, yes. And yes. honestly, we've seen nothing tonight. I tell you what you miss is Adrian Vowles. Yeah. I was thought you were going to say Adrian Tool. I'd love Tool to be out here. Tool, I reckon. Tool would have been at home here tonight. We can't start the next match, I tell you, Tool. But Adrian Vowles. Uh, you know, last year he came on, Melbourne match, I think. It was yeah. a tremendous uh, 
He uh, knocked on in the opening minutes. Yeah. But uh, here's a kick now. I wonder if they can rescue something from here. Now they've got all the work to do. How about a 100-metre try here? As they run back into the goal line. <coughs> years here ago, I dreamt of uh, 26 Kevin Hardwick's 13 side. And tonight's the closest we've seen. Oh, here he comes. Thank goodness. Get him off. Get him off. And who have we got on? Adam Muir, have we? Uh, the Newcastle boys. I hope so. Uh, I'd love to see Adam Muir. I mean, why did they pick Terry Hill in the first place? He was only going to bring disappointment and shame on this great game of rugby league. And tonight he proved it. <laughs> I mean, it was just a farce having him out there. I mean... Oh, Harrigan. Gee, Harrigan fired up. He, Harrigan's going all right. Did him all the good, didn't it? It did. That trot was fantastic. Brought him right alive. Woke him right up. Ah, uh, yeah, they're laughing. Oh, he's through. John's in slow. He's found a way out the middle here. Can he get the ball away? He can. He gets it onto his brother. Rainbow connection. Here he comes under Eddie. Eddie gets a ball. Oh, 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 oh. Tremendous skills there. Faramo injected himself and Wishart knocked it on. Then somebody else knocked it on. Then someone lost their mouth guard. Then Brent Bentley Icon came on. And he's made yeah. all the difference. Well, he sparked them right up. They've got big wraps on this boy. Probably bigger than those on Terry Hill. Oh, yeah. So he makes a lot of fun for me. Mm. Uh, anyway, uh, New South Wales. Had Looks like he's at fly half in Icon. Away goes There's down. Icon now. There's Icon touch. No, that's no, not Icon. No, no, it's not Icon. another uh, six or something. Yeah, where they spotted Icon? I don't know. Oh, take his Guernsey off, why don't you? Back comes to 17, might be Icon. You no, know, Craig Stevens, 17. Mm. 13, Billy Moore. Ben Icon's 14, if we sit 14 out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, oh, he's definitely out there. Oh, I sure just don't that. know where he's playing. Right, here he goes. Oh, I don't think he does either. No. Here he comes. He's running towards us now. Uh, sorry, he's not in the picture. It, mm. Who's... Yeah, oh, no worries. That's Teven there with the ball now. Yeah, Teven Bomb, yeah. Teven and Bomb. And yeah. 15 is Terry Cook. Yeah. The Cook's great been Terry on for a while. Cook. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. here it is, Robbie O'Davis, who kicks through. Out wide. Didn't know where the kick went. Rashid decides to tidy up. Ugh. Yeah, and caught one in the back. Well, that's rugby league. Yeah, that's the, if you tidy future. up, you often get one in the back. Future. Often you get a couple of knees in the kidneys too, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you do. Jim McGregor's been impressive tonight, hasn't uh, he? He's run straight at the opposition all the time, mm. uh, yeah. as witnessed there. And when it comes to Menzies, now Menzies has been a real fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had no idea he could be just bloody good. He's been funny. Well, you can he's, see why none of these people have been signed for the Super League. You can indeed. And you can see why they've all stayed with the ARL. Mm. Uh, because basically they Well, they, they knew they'd get a game. <laughs> Here's somebody now pretending they've hurt. God, this fellow's got all the skills here. Oh, oh geez, where's the support now? Give him some support. Don't the Blues want to win this? Anyway, um, back they come. Here's the John's boy away. It goes now. Oh, he's got a kick. The other John's boy has to kick. Now, come on, make some yards here. Come on, Blues, up you go. Gee, the Blues are chasing well, aren't oh, they? Oh, they're chasing very well. Putting Look a lot of pressure on this kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, Davis back with the ball. He decides to pass. Oh, I remember he just stood there and he ran into him. Yeah. Because he was stupid. <laughs> Trouble when you played 69 minutes of league mm. is you tend to lose direction a lot. And he must have still got a lot of petrol oh, left, hasn't he? Tremendous amount of petrol. I had no idea he had that much in the tank. <laughs> must have a land cruiser in there. And it's back it comes now and all oh, the Ooh, cheap. Harry, cheap. 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 Fired up. He must have the trot. Would you think <laughs> would you think he was playing for an Australian jumper tonight? <laughs> back it comes now. And isn't it good the ARL of uh, Given up on uh, banning uh, oh, the oh, oh, he's got it. Oh, so much petrol there. He's got a new lease of life. Must have spoken to uh, Fatty Borton and heard another gag. Back it comes to uh, oh, the axe fast hair. Oh, oh, here they go. Here's a tie coming up. Oh, oh, yes. There we go. It's on the inside. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I oh, tied it up beautifully. And in fact, that was a fantastic maroon effort. Good tackle now. Playing the ball, playing the ball. Back it goes on to the far side. Away goes from the car table on to Robbie O'Davis. Robbie O'Davis chips through. There's plenty of blue jumpers there. They bring it back out. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Here comes a 100 metre tie. Stops at the first barrel hurdle. Oh, He's God. a lumbering, big, stupid old ass, isn't he? Well, that was a very good chance for the maroons there. Mm, and I, I don't know what's happened. There might have been a shepherd involved there, I think. Oh, no, we've got dead. a player in trouble here. Did someone die? And I missed it. What's happened down there? Uh, can you run out, Roy, and have a look? He's gone very quiet. Oh, they haven't got Bartram off. Oh, no. He's winded. This kid, he's winded. He's winded. No, I'd say his uh, chest is moved to where his stomach was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was just a little bit concerned. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll take some ads. That's what we should do. Danny Moore is down. We'll be back with the completion of the State of Origin number one. Welcome to the future in a moment. The Starship Enterprise is Rugby League for one night only. Tonight on Triple J.
Yes, looks like uh, Danny Moore has uh, broken his neck. He's knocked out, I think. Actually. And uh, will be uh, stretched off. Yeah. I'd like to see him come back. Yeah, oh, yeah I don't like seeing this uh, in rugby league, I must say. No, but it is part of the future that's hard to yeah. ignore. Yeah. It happened against the run of play, too. I don't know what happened here. Let's see, the ball goes out. Here's more with the ball, and uh, well, we didn't see much uh, as to what happened. Somehow, uh, yeah. Yeah. Here is where it happened. Yeah, he must have he must have hit the knee of Bouchard. Mm. Well, that'd be right. Yeah. Yeah, but mm. I, don't, I don't like seeing this. Uh, because, I, you know, what I worry about is the people at home yeah. watch this and they think, well, we shouldn't have Johnny and Freddie play. Yeah. Uh, we shouldn't have Johnny and Freddie play. Now they don't know how to get the stretcher together. You know, this is what disappoints me. Yeah, You've got you doctors out there. Well, well, looked at it's GP. the B team with everything, isn't it? Uh, the B team, the ambulance you know, and doctors. You'd think that GP people, they would have watched GP. Yeah. Well, I don't like the look of this. They he's don't in like real trouble. seeing uh, neck problems. He's in real trouble. And doesn't that encourage a lot of kiddies at home to think about playing rugby league? And yeah. encourages parents to think it's okay to sign a bit of paper saying Freddie can go and play rugby yeah. league. Yeah. I mean, no, I I've like seen this. a fantastic match. They've been really entertained, especially on the scoreboard, which has never stopped ticking over. Mm. I think it's up to two. <laughs> up to two nil. Yes, and unfortunately now it's marred by this rather tragic moment in history. Yeah. And remember, the future's only really 69 minutes old. Yeah, yeah. You'd think there'd be uh, a quicker way of getting him off, yeah. really. Well, why haven't they got that car? You know, years ago, I, I you know, uh, when in my day, they just drag you off by the feet. But why haven't they got that car? Remember once they had an electric car? That's right. They don't know what happened to the car. No, oh, there the it is. Car, yeah. uh, why isn't Jim Bannigan out there? Normally Jim gets involved uh, at this stage. Uh, but he can go off knowing that he's played very well. You know, I, I know it can be you know, cold comfort at this time, but... If I was the, uh, the quack looking at him, the first thing I'd say was you played, you played a great game. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I, I say you've been part of the future. Mm. And the future can be as cool as the past. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, the game goes on. Yeah, it hasn't had a lot in the atmosphere. Oh, it has. And listen to the crowd. Oh, how are <laughs> Is it any wonder why people come down and pay good money to see the league of this standard? Mm. Or, mm. When you get knock-ons like that after the yeah. first, uh, you know, the first... Oh, well, I think Maroons can hang on here. Yeah, I, I do too. And I'm thinking inquiry here because uh, I don't think this has been a um, fair dinkum game. Fair dinkum game. Uh, and I know I uh, run the risk of uh, causing legal action here, but, uh, but uh, to me, this hasn't been... This uh, has got Clive Lloyd written all over it, hasn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, this has got... Uh, Clive Lloyd written all over it. Yeah. This has got Melbourne. This has got fine cotton written all over it. <laughs> this has got Melbourne in mind. Mm. And now here's Maroons have a chance here. Can they make it on the sixth tackle? Oh, yes, I think they're going to go in. Oh, almost a knock on there. That was good play by the Blues there. Well they get up a troll. That's uh, young uh, yes. Matty Sears. Yeah. Matty Sears is no stranger to that position. Here's Wishart. There'll be a bit of head hunting for Wishart. Oh, yes, as we see in replay, Matty Sears doing the hard thing that no one else has been able to do here this evening. Mm. Back it comes now. We're on to the 15, and we've got about 10 minutes left to go in the match. Away it goes on to the far side. I think you, I think they can let their leash, them off the leash. Oh. oh, gee, that was a good combination, wasn't it? Um, mm. What the crowd do with the talking? Yeah, yeah, that was real good. Gee, mm. these, uh, these, um, uh, these John boys have been terrific, haven't they? They have. Where did they find them? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but... Uh, I noticed uh, Gouldy was saying that uh, he expected the game to be a lot faster this year. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, and, and a lot more attacking options from the Blues with the inclusion of the Johns boys. Yes, yes. Well, I suppose that's true. That's true. But way, I think that's, that's true for Maroon. Saying, they, they, they have too many attacking options. <laughs> they haven't known which one to pick. <laughs> I'd say what he was saying was, with a backhanded compliment to the Maroons, with the Johns boys on board, mm. you could expect the Maroons to get the ball quite a lot of the time. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Look at McGregor, he's had a point, yeah. Well, he? this is good work here. Look at it, but that's perfect. Yeah, lovely pass. I mean, that is A-grade rugby yeah. league. No wonder people are thinking, fucking me, if this is the standard we've got, we might as well go and watch Super League. <laughs> I do know who's the winner tonight here, not Super League, but the AFL. I mean, you get people yeah. queuing up to see the Swans play Carlton on Friday night out of this so. exhibition. I, I mean, so. if this is all half a certain quail and that's not good up, then say bye-bye to the future, people, because mm. mm. this won't stand up in court. I mean, the judge will look at this tape and say, oh, no, I don't want any more of this. And tick super league. You know, you can have it. <laughs> Mr. Murdoch, come on down. <laughs> As we see, is this Bartram? Yes, it is. Bartram. He's got one from two, Wayne Bartram. 
And he's got two from two. Oh, no, he's missed that. He's got, he's got two from two. Oh, what did he mean? Oh, he's taken on his there. Oh, well done. Oh, well, oh, did he get the ball over? <laughs> uh, yes, he, I think he might have got the ball over. Yeah, he's got the ball over. Yeah, absolutely. Well yeah. done, Flay. Oh, no, they pin him down, did they? Well, well done, Cracker home. He is, um, and Larson, Larson has to be the man of the match. Oh, I think so. He's had a blinder. He's been at everything. He's been at everything. He's, yeah, he's got man of the match last year, I, I think. think so. He's kicked a couple of times. He's, he's been good. Well, he's held it on the ball. This lamb kid, he's been good. If any has been, been good. Lamb kid, he has been good. He, he's, uh, you know, he's knocked on a couple of times yeah. for Larson. He's, he's got to be star of the future. Yeah, true. You forget that. Larson mm. must have another 10 years in front of him. And mm. Cracker home. He's a nipper. Mm. You know, he must be 12. Mm. He's got 16 on his back, but I think he might be 12. It comes now as the Maroons go forward again in the dying minutes of State of Origin number one. Mm. And uh, let's see, Teven here with the ball about to get it out away from the car table. On to Lamb. Lamb on to, uh, let's see, uh, oh, he's got the big boy there. That, that Moore, is it? that, that uh, Danny Moore, who hadn't had such a good game. But what I have seen of him, I have liked. Mm. Back it comes now with the axe. The axe still going forward there. And back it comes now on the fifth tackle with about seven minutes to go. I don't know whether there's enough time now for the Blues. They have to find at least to try and knock on. Or did it come off the no, it came off the, the knees? Yeah, so Sedaris has the ball. Yeah. But the life's gone out of this game. Well, no, the Blues have got a set of six now. If they And there might be a penalty here, so they might be able to uh, get 20, 30 metres further down. Then on that six, they might be able to score from there. What so, have you made of Eddie Ward's decisions here or not? Uh, what have you made well, of Eddie Ward's game, the, the referee? Well, I, I think it's been a sham. Has it? Mm. And there were two balls on the ground again. And he didn't hold the game up like he did last time. No, well, so totally inconsistent. Back it goes. And now he's, uh, he's this, the Chief going forward. No, it's Adam Muir. Adam Muir. Oh, mm. playing a forward. Yeah. yeah. Ejecting himself into mm. the match. And away he comes down. Oh, Mackay had a fiddle with it and then flirted with it and then decided to grab it and go to ground. They're about 45 metres uh, out from their own line. Back it comes now to Johns. Johns on to uh, Harrigan. Harrigan. Harrigan over uh, 50 now. And so they push on up. It must be two tackles to go in this set of six. Away it comes now to Fittler. Fittler looks wide. He's got one of the Johns boys. The Johns boys goes to give it to McGregor. McGregor pokes his way forward but can't go anywhere. And it might be the fifth tackle coming up. And uh, away it comes now to McGregor. McGregor's been impressive. Oh, yes. And up it goes to Fittler. Fittler just roosts it in the air. They set themselves. Oh, oh and then knock on Menzies. Well done. Gee, that Menzies kitty. Big raps on him. <laughs> There's a bit of... Oh, well, yes. it's a handover, you hand know. Yeah. So yeah. Maroons get the ball. That yeah, was Eddie an attractive Ward. passage of play, wasn't well, it? Well, it was very, very exciting. Eddie Ward, here's the coit with the ball. And we've got about six minutes left to go. And away it comes now, uh, finds Billy Moore. Billy Moore gets taken back. I love that work with the ankle going mm. up in the air. Mm. Uh, Billy Moore. And it's starting to play down now, the Maroons, as you'd expect. That's right. With the two points on the board, yeah. they know that they've got a very big chance here taken back yeah. there. Beautiful work there, driven back by a couple of Blues. And uh, if they don't get off soon, they'll give him a penalty. Back it comes now. Away it goes to Cracker. Cracker with the headband seeking a way to ignite this. Ignite this forward line. I tell you, I haven't seen much of his Dale Shearer in the last 20 minutes. No. Would he have gone Is Dale off? still on there? <laughs> I, I wonder if no, Dale's, Dale's on. Oh, Dale's yeah. come off. No wonder I haven't seen Yeah, remember uh, we, we, we had oh, the... Oh, Benny Eichen's on. Yeah, Benny Eichen came. Ah, oh, right. Of course, I didn't realise they had such depth there. Mm. Uh, and uh, away now, uh, who's this uh, knocking him over McGregor? And it goes in slow motion. There's a fifth tackle, and it'll obviously be a kick, unless there's some blue pressure here. Yeah, Larson's, and Larson's kicking. kicking. And, and on the outer, on the full. So it'll be just a hand over there. Oh, Fatty wasn't happy with that. Yeah. No, gee, he handles the ball with a John's kick. Hasn't well, he? he's got all the skills. Even the ball boy throws it to him. He, <laughs> he and away they go it. now. Here's a chance for the Blues to put some points on the board for the first time in Origin. They've got about four and a half minutes to go. And away it goes on the far side now. They're looking for runners. They need some people to stand up. Here comes Flo Joe coming through the middle. Flo gets up and plays the ball. And uh, he gets it back to uh, Blue. Blue comes across to other Blue. Blue now on to Fittler. Fittler on to Blue. Blue means he's, he's got a lot to make up for. He gets the ball away. He's got Wishart here. Can Wishart fight his way through? Wishart can't. And he's knocked over about 25 metres away from the line. He gets up and plays the ball back. Now they go away from the card table. There's a big cutout pass there. But where to go? Hit the line. Come on, Harrigan. Chief, do something. They're getting close now. Quick play the ball. Try to get somebody in there at dummy half. Back it goes. Here's a little jigging chip. Is it too much? Yes. It's over Brescia. Too late. Too little. Too low. Yes, Carol was saying, come on there. Yeah, yes, very, very good word there, too. Come on. Well, there, there wasn't much up front. They should have no. attacked the line a bit more, Roy. Well, I think they had the numbers. But he mm. wasn't no, well, that's what I mean. They you know, the numbers. They're just by sheer weight of numbers. They could have taken the ball out of themselves. I know. It's just 
Just a shame. It says for the Maroons to get the ball back, and I think the Maroons might have this one. 2 0 in one of the greatest upsets ever in State of Origin history. But as Roy points out, the uh, Royal Commission will start tomorrow. Anybody who wants to give evidence, they can present themselves at Phillips Street at 9 o'clock. Uh, the uh, venue of the uh, Royal no, Commission, not on there. Royal this Commission might be going to be the fatal error. Oh, look, here's somebody again. worried about the state of the match. Don't worry, son, it's only the future. Mm. You, you get another chance of this in Melbourne and people queue up and have a look at it. Yeah, so it's going to be a per scrum, scrum down, down. The... And there's tiny amount of time left, but yeah, a try here. Down, uh, as you well might. Let's see what happens. What are their attacking options? Oh, they've got, got none. so many attacking options. <laughs> so many. Oh, there's an attacking Oh, it's knocked on. Six, six to go. Six to go. And here comes Flojo. Flojo gets the ball out to wish out. Wish out to side. Go on the side, but there's no support there. They just come all over him. And there's six and five more tackles to go. He gets up almost a penalty there. I'd love to see a draw, Roy. Yeah, wouldn't that be perfect? That'd be fantastic. Oh, so many options here. Oh, Menzies. Gee, Menzies. Menzies is through. He's found a way forward, but he's tackled by behind. That was good work by Lamb. See this Lamb boy impressed me. I can see him in an Australian jumper. Take out from where Alf Lager left off. And all goes now. And here they come now. They've set themselves McGregor deep. McGregor. Oh, he's, got he's, got he's got through. He's got through. He's there. He's there. It's out wide. Yes. He's Mitch out of cotton. He's held up. Oh, he's no, pushed over. Great work from Michael. Great work. Great work from Michael. And I can. Good work from Michael there too. Mm. So I'd say that was the ball game now, Roy. Oh, I can't so, see so, him, yeah. I can't see him getting back into this. Yeah. A tremendous, a tremendous flex of football here in the future. And gee, I'm looking forward to the next two games. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I, I think I'll, I, I think we mightn't be able to call them because they'll be so good. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah, and the chant goes up from the five remaining people of Queensland. Gee, hasn't been this thing? It's been a tremendous effort by everybody concerned. And the whole, you know, you can take it no, nothing away from him, nobody. No. As uh, they see the ball go forwards, we're down inside about a minute to go. Yeah. And, uh, this well, that's is sensible. Uh, slow the play down by engaging the tackle as long as possible. That's very clever from the Blues. <laughs> and uh, as we get up, slow play the ball. I think that's it now. I think so. I think that's it. I think Queensland have done it. I think yeah, Queensland have got left. two they points. Should they should be able to hold it out from here. And, of course, uh, what a tremendous match. You know, people have bagged this game for a long time, saying it wouldn't live up to the standard of the other state of origin matches. But I think it has. I think every moment, every tackle has just been first class as the way it comes now on the Lamb. Lamb decides to go for the sideline. And I think he might get a penalty here, too. Oh, I don't think so. No. no, 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 no he should have stayed down a bit longer. Yeah. And uh, been the neck injury. Yeah. So... We've got uh, a dying moment of State of Origin number one, and I can think I can hear the hooter coming up now. Lloyd. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. 15 seconds. 15 time. seconds. I've just got time to set up the scrum. Mm. Oh, look at that. They didn't even get into the scrum. Oh, what are, they gonna, what are the attacking options here? So many options. Oh, McGregor. Surprise me. Oh, yes. John still. Oh, he's still leaving. Oh, that's a good pass. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. They've won. Queensland have won. That's tremendous. Result for rugby league in the future. The result here, Queensland 2, New South Wales nil. Oh, we're back already. What a tremendous asteroids ahead, sir. Never mind, Commander War. It's only the lead. We assert that both Jones. claim that Ken Arthurson is mad. No, we go further. We now claim that Ken Arthurson is totally mad. End of story. When you look at it, this match had everything, and uh, when uh, people said it would be as good as anything that the rugby league's ever turned on anywhere in the world uh, in the history of the game, I, I found that hard to believe. But when we see the result here with Queensland running away with the first uh, origin in 1995 to New South Wales nil, uh, I believe all those things have come true. It might have been a lot of the match when Parramatta played Canterbury. I think it might have been the grand final in 1986. It was. 4-2 yeah. was the score. But I mean, at least you had the third inning in that game that uh, all parties concerned were interested uh, yeah, in trying to win. Uh, I, 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 I think a lot of people have been let down, a lot of people disappointed. There's a lot of showbiz happening here, uh, as we can see, HG. I think there was a lot of vested interest in uh, trying to create interest in this series. And uh, the best way to do that was to uh, artificially create the sort of result we've seen here tonight. Uh, I think uh, a lot of booze disappointed deliberately. Uh, and I think there will be a Royal Commission. I know the papers, some of the papers tomorrow will see it otherwise, and there'll be lots of calls for, you know, fatty hero, uh, the, the you know, Queenslanders geniuses, the old spirit, the maroon Guernsey got them through again, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I 
and Queensland did all the character and heart. How about that? How about that as a, as a head? Like, I think yeah. we'll see a lot of a lot of that. But uh, I don't believe a word of that. I, I, I think um, a, a lot of Blue Guernsey's uh, lay doggo tonight uh, for the greater good of the ARL. Well, that's beautifully summed up. And, Roy, we come to the awards. And uh, I would like to say that, once again, uh, the prices of, uh, on offer in 1995 are just fabulous. There's the Slanel Brock Commodore in either blue or maroon. There's the uh, boot full of date fingers, a night out with Ken Arthurson, and a drive. I think it's a tremendous part of the prize. A drive with Adrian Vols from Canberra to Townsville one way after the match. Yeah, uh, isn't uh, that yeah, good? That's tremendous. Yeah. So your awards tonight, Roy, uh, you know, who did you think was the best player uh, out there? Uh, well, I, I, so I, many I, to choose from. Yes, well, I thought Gary Larson played very well. I, I, you I, wouldn't I, think of Dale Shearer? Uh, Dale Shearer I, I could put in as well. Uh, Pencil Dale in as very well. I was very, very, very impressed with... Uh, with uh, uh, a, with, with Adrian Lamb. Yeah, A. Lamb. Uh, I thought cool. A. Lamb was a real... He's a, he's a sort of... Gee, in a few years' time, uh, he, he's a real... Um, he, he's a real uh, uh, sort of uh, Stuart type in many ways, isn't he? A very Alan Langer type. He's the Alan Langer of the future. Oh, he is. For sure, in that, in that Lamb kit. He's had big raps on him. I thought Billy Moore played very, very well. I thought Gilly played tremendously well. I thought Terry Cook played well. I thought Danny Moore played well. I thought Mark Coyne was tremendous. I thought Brett Dallas had a tremendous amount of petrol in him. Uh, and uh, Stephen played well as well. So from the from Queensland and the the uh, the uh, the uh, penalty puller. I, oh, I thought had, penalty puller. I thought had a tremendous game as well. So all in all, uh, I thought it was a terrific game of rugby league from the Queensland position. Um, from the Blues, I think the less said the better. I, I think there will be an inquiry, and I don't think Gould and the rest of them will come out of it very well. Well, look, Roy, I, I, you know, and honestly, I, I am over the moon. Uh, look, emotions has got me. I'm choking up here tonight uh, with the future, mm. with everything that Rugby League can offer the future. Mm. And so, you know, uh, with uh, those final thoughts from you, uh, all I can say, though, so there oh, is I look rugby. forward to the second game. Well, obviously. Oh, Melbourne. I can't wait to get to Melbourne. May the third. Oh, Melbourne. Oh, oh Melbourne. Melbourne. oh look look you on up already to look at this one. So there it is, Rugby League. Uh, State of Origin, should I say Rugby League Club, State of Origin number one. What was in the future fabulous with the victory going to Queensland, the tune, the sweet, sweet tune of two zip, two donut, two don't argue. Congratulations, Maroon. Congratulations, Captain Axe. Congratulations, Coach Vorton. Before we go, we leave you with a reminder that uh, this Sporting Life returns to Triple J this Saturday as we go from the Triple J card table here at the Sydney Football Stadium. This Sporting Life Origin coverage team would like, as always, to thank King Wallyard on the step of food, Mighty Mike Shy on buttons, Rowdy Rod on the scoreboard and stats, and a host of, well, triers out in the back rooms getting it all together. Not forgetting Mighty Mike Shy on buttons. I might have mentioned him before. And not forgetting my colleague in league, Rampage in Westlaven. But uh, last but not least, we'd like to thank the Rugby League loving people of Australia who had a vision, the guts, the game plan and the arousal for jo to join us for this trek to the future this evening. This is H.G. Norson signing off from the SFS Triple J card table asking you to join us once again when we visit Melbourne in the future on May the 31st and clamber again aboard Space Shibako and head off for Boots Void yet again. We sign off from the control centre of league with the simple reminder that Triple J is spot right out. Ladies and gentlemen, how did you enjoy the future? Isn't the league a lot more fun without those old duds from the game that have clambered aboard Starship Swollen Purse now on their way to Boots Void? If you like the future tonight, you can go again when the league comes to the MCG on May 31st. Why not join us then for Melbourne's Night of Nights? See you then, League Travellers of Tomorrow.